Why don't you not mess with your own hair? Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to the bourbon blend. Hey. <laughs> what up? Welcome, welcome. I was welcome. over there talking to Courtney in a He's private manner. He's harassing me. <laughs> I was talking to you in a private manner. I'm Good your evening. private manner. Oh, hello. Good evening and welcome to the Bourbon Blend. I am Courtney and this is my amazing husband and sidekick, Jay. I am indeed your sidekick and husband. <laughs> yes, yes. Tell me about your shirt, Jay. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm wearing a Purdue shirt. I am supporting Purdue. Since Transylvania University got knocked out <laughs> and the Auburn Tigers are out of the tournament. Mm -hmm. So uh, our friend Pipe, uh, Nick the Pipe Player, no, Pipe Player Nick. Pipe Player correct, Nick. Uh, is a Purdue, an ardent Purdue supporter. And, and he has uh, been. It's not like these no, he absolutely new has been. to the bandwagon here. He is 100% uh, a Purdue fan. So there he is, Cincy Blitzboard. There he is. LFG Boiler Up. So Look he got that. me He got me this shirt yes, and uh, J-Dub got the same shirt as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be... Show, showing our support for the Purdue Boilermakers as they venture deeper into the NCAA tournament, this time against the Gonzaga Bulldogs from Spokane, yes. Washington. Spokane. There should be another team up there, but... Not anymore. They should mm -hmm. be in Boston. Mm -hmm. Getting ready to play UConn. Oh, well, they were there. But, you know, I'm not keeping track anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're done with that shit. Uh, I think Bam Bams are playing tonight against the North Carolina Tar Heels, and, uh, but we don't give a shit. We just care about Purdue, right? That's right. Let's go, Edie. <laughs> uh, so I appreciate that, Pipe. Thanks for that. And I will make passing references to it uh, as we move forward in the show. Raven says, Ooh. Boiler TF up. I love it. We're, we're turning <laughs> some people into uh, at least temporary Purdue fans. <laughs> and our quarterback, our Iron, quarterback? Iron Aiden O'Connell, uh, oh, is a Purdue graduate as well. So, uh, I don't know we love about him. Aiden. I don't know about him. Uh, welcome to the blend. We're going to be hanging out tonight talking a little Auburn basketball, but not too much because it gets a little... There's not much to talk about now. <laughs> ...sad when you get too deep into it. And then we're also going to be discussing some uh, Heaven Hill bottled and bond yes. selections. Yes, yes, yes. Which Courtney all has right in front here. of her here. I think this is a very interesting oh. uh, situation we're going to be facing tonight because over here in your bottom left, that's three Heaven Hill products, mm -hmm. all of them bottled in bond, but all of them uh, aged at a different, different age. age. Statement. So the Evan Williams is four or five. All with the exact same mash bill. Heaven Hill is seven and McKenna is 10. Mm -hmm. So we will see if that extra aging has a positive effect on uh, what happens mm -hmm. with the bourbon. So let's okay. take that out. We will start with uh, some Auburn basketball chatter. Mm. And I don't have a, uh, there I do. Now I do. Yeah. I did not have a camera because I didn't <laughs> quite get that right. Uh, the Auburn Tigers finished 27-8 uh, overall, which is pretty dang good. Mm -hmm. uh, lost 7-8 to 76 to Yale in the NCAA tournament first round. Uh, they were a four seed. Auburn was. Yale, I believe, was a 13. And, uh, yeah. Auburn led by 10 with 7.25 to go, something like that. And, uh, listen, six turnovers in that last seven minutes and uh, – that's something that Auburn really has not done much of. You know, six turnovers would be pretty much a, a game's worth. Right. And they just did that in seven minutes. And that was just messy. Messy. I think that when uh, Chad Baker Mazzara left the game early with a uh, flagrant two foul, it, uh, it took away Auburn's only guy who can really score with the ball by himself, who doesn't need anyone to help him. And I think when Auburn really needed some buckets there in the last, let's say, three or four minutes, there really wasn't Couldn't anybody to happen. go get a bucket. So uh, today when BP had a press conference, he was somebody asked him about Tahad Pettiford. I think it was Ferg. And he said, that kid is a bucket getter. And I, I thought that was an interesting thing to say bucket because getter, I like he it. needs more buckets. Uh, okay. And I think Tahad Pettiford is the kind of kid that can go get buckets. So that's going to be part of Auburn's solution moving forward. Uh, Pearl had a press conference today. We have full... Uh, Coverage at AuburnSports.com. Uh, B. Matt wrote a story. I wrote a column, and we've got video as well. BP was uh, was fired up. Um, seemed to be a little pissed off about some of the criticism he's faced in the the aftermath of the Yale loss. Uh, my attitude on this, Courtney, would be: you lose to Yale in the first round of the tournament, you're going to get shit on. I don't yeah. think he was mad about that part of it. I think he was upset with some of the criticism that suggested that maybe he wasn't the right guy for Auburn anymore, which to me is a um, ludicrous idea. I disagree on that. Uh, I think that he's got he's to do something to win in the tournament, though. That's the end of the year. That's what you're counting on for the whole year 
is to get there. And when you get there, you can't lose in the first and second round if you have had a season like they've had. They just they just pooped all over the place in the last three minutes of that game. And it was just messy. And, I mean, they deserved to lose in the last three minutes. But Can't argue that. Um, let's see. Not, not great this year. Lost in the second round to Houston last year. Although Houston was pretty damn good. Um, oh. I don't know. It um, happens. We got uh, Chris H. I can't. Is it? What is his avatar there? No, no, I can't tell. Is it Smalls? I can't tell. I can't tell. It looks also looks like something rude and crude and socially unacceptable. <laughs> uh, they're still gauging the roster for 24-25, which BP was pretty open about today. Uh, insofar as who's going to be back, we know Jalen won't be back because he's out of eligibility. We know that Leor won't be back because he is out out of eligibility. So. Essentially, everybody else is in play, at least uh, from a theoretical perspective. And we talked about it last week, the idea, or actually you and I talked about it privately, that Janai Broom, who is without a doubt the MVP of this yeah. team, can come back and may come back if the NIL numbers work out. So uh, there's a chance this whole team could just run it back next year with a few changes. It's so strange to me that we even have this conversation where somebody – would return for a senior season, because, or last season, can't call it senior anymore, Fifth year, yeah. last year, um, because they can actually make more than they would make going pro. And it's just so strange that yeah. that's legit now, um, when just, what, two years ago it wasn't. Uh, are fans wrong to be angry? I don't think so. Um, I can understand the frustration over losing to Yale. Is there a reasonable angry, though? Yes. See, to me, there's a difference between being pissed about the loss and then, and even some of the things you're saying, versus, you know, is he the best Auburn can do? Like, get no, the fuck come out on. Of here. It's Auburn. I mean, and, and BP's done an yes. amazing job here. He, this is really BP's program. I mean, honestly, he has remade this from scratch. So, guys, he, he's, he does, he, he gets it done. Uh, won, the, won the tournament, too. So, mm -hmm. uh, he's done some things. Uh, but again, the NCAA tournament, I'm sure he would like to do a little bit better. So, that's the bottom line on the Auburn Tiger situation. I suspect Janai's going to come back, but I, I, that's not based on any intel I've gotten. Well, I, when I heard about KD being in the portal, I was like, you know, it's not really that big of a deal, I don't think, because he's pretty much a spaz, and no, 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 you don't okay, know what you're going to get. Okay, that is true. I, KD needs you to go. You don't know what you're going to get. He needs to go start. He needs to go start somewhere. Somewhere else, yeah. And I think I was talking to somebody today, actually a couple people today, about what Tahad Pettiford's role is going to be, and they said he's going to be taking KD's minutes. So, KD, he saw the writing on the wall. I mean, it is what okay. it is. I like KD, and I thought he brought a lot of energy to Auburn. He definitely brought energy. He definitely brought energy. So he's going to be oh, moving I'm on. making Call Me Biscuit mad. I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't think that uh, – I think they'll be okay replacing KD with Tahad, and I think they're going to add at least three more in the portal. So we'll see. Okay. I better leave it at that for now. Okay. Uh, CJ says, I'm here. Toast one to my dad. It's his birthday, number 19. Mm -hmm. Walleye Watson was in uh, the complex today. A lot of former players came by to practice today in football. And I was really hoping to see the real number 19, but he wasn't there. But Walleye was one of his cohorts at one point. Uh, let's see. Raven says, uh, we can be pissed about the outcome and not be pissed about the job that BP has done. Both things can be true. That, that's exactly right, Raven. And that's, I that's would true. advocate I myself for Auburn people to be in that middle zone, right? To be I pissed agree. about the game and not necessarily pissed about mm -hmm. uh, BP's entire body of work. But BP came into that press conference today, and he was, he was hot. He was hot. Well, he's not one to really mask his feelings. No, he's, he's not. not really known for that. He's not, he's not, he's not. <laughs> uh, Leif B. is in the house. Leif, one of Yay. our favorite people, uh, who came over hey, generously during COVID from uh, our fr uh, the Rebel Groves. He came to visit, and he's and, still uh, been visiting. We appreciate it. We love Leif. He made a, a change in career. I don't want to go too deep into it, but uh, I hope that it's very enriching to him. It should be, because I think he's doing some stuff that uh, he's, he's going to be remembered for for a long time. Uh, nice. Neil broke up with me, so I don't hang out yeah. at Rebel. I permanently logged out of Rebel Grove. It's I sad. think that is an excellent idea. It's sad. It's sad. I, yeah, I'm not happy about idea. it. but Excellent idea. I don't think Leif would have broken up with me. Well, he hasn't, because look, he's here participating. Uh, we appreciate it. Pipe says, all Auburn fans, put your energy into Purdue. We're good folks that have been through a lot of misery. <laughs> Purdue lost in the first round last year with a very good team, and now they're back with a lot of their best players, and they are not going to lose in the first round. They're already in the Sweet 16, and when they spank that Gonzaga booty, uh, they're going to be in the Elite Eight. Yeah. Good for them. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, let's see. Leif says, BZW, the Clemson-Arizona game is pretty snug right now. It we was watched when it. we left the house. It was a Yeah, Clemson tight. was up when we left. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it looks, I, I figured Arizona was going to tighten it. And then how, tell me about UConn-San Diego State. That game was pretty close late in the first half for us, but then we had to leave, so we'll see it. Uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor says, lengthy guards. <laughs> A lot of people feel like BP is hung up on small guards. Uh, constantly chasing the next Jared Harper, and I don't know as though there's a lot of Jared Harpers out there. So uh, I will say this. The point guards that they have been talking to have been very long, uh, Tim. <laughs> I think one of them six long. Uh, six one. Uh, that kid went to Maryland. 6'2", six 6'3", six and 6'5". So oh, uh, six they're five. definitely doing that. Okay. Colleen in the house as well. Hey, Colleen. Gives us a wave. <laughs> Possibly our favorite music teacher of all time. Uh, certainly for me. Uh, and I love music, by the way. I can't play a lick. Oh, but UConn I... up by almost 20. Oh, Boo. IU 256 is some terrible news. Boo. UConn up by 20. Disappointing. Mm, that's disappointing. And uh, Pipe says UConn blew it open. Ugh. Where I come from, blowing something open means a little something Anything. different. Anything. Anyway. Uh, okay. So there you go. The Auburn Tigers, we just don't want to talk too much about it. Let's have some bourbon. Because I think that's what some folks came here for, Jay. Mike B says 7470 Clemson with 25 seconds to go. That sounds Ooh. like a... I'm long, wow. and I'm strong, and I'm ready, ready to get the friction, friction on. on. So, fellas, hey. fellas, hey. tell me you're going to lick those balls. <laughs> nope, those are not the right lyrics. Ah, mm. wrong one. I was so close. So close. Uh, okay, bourbon time. Bourbon time. Bourbon time. Uh, we're going to talk about Bottled and Bond, uh, three Bottled and Bond products today. And Courtney came up with a helpful little graphic here that explains what does it mean, does it Courtney, mean? when a bourbon is a bottled and bond bourbon. What does that, that mean, correct. Courtney? So basically back in the day, folks used to, when they were making their quote unquote bourbon, they were using all kinds of different things to color it um, from being the white dog that came right off the still. Um, they were putting tobacco juice in it, tobacco leaves. They were putting uh, turpentine in it, like lots of things. Bad for your not, real, not really healthy for people. So uh, the government said, hey, guess what? We're gonna actually ask folks to be good and um, make bourbon the right way that's not going to kill people. And um, if you do, we're gonna give you a tax credit, basically, if you do this. Because what, what would be the incentive for these people to do it? There was no incentive, so we'll give you a little credit. So they created the Bottle and Bond Act and there were particular reasons why you, um, or how you could participate in the Bottled and Bond Act. So you have to be produced in America has to be the product of one distillation season. And I did not know this, but a distillation season is twice a year. There's so two it's per year. January to June and July to December. I didn't know that, I learned that today. Um, it has to come from one distiller at one distillery. And it has to be aged in a bonded warehouse, a government bonded warehouse for at least at four least years. Four. And it has to be bottled at 100 proof. So that's a lot of rules. That is a lot of rules. It's a lot of rules. But so the one, thing, the that day, one thing they don't require is the kind of barrel you use, which I always get confused by. I always think it has to be a charred oak American barrel. No. But that's for bourbon. That's right. not bottled and bond. Right. For bourbon, it always has to be. So bottle and bond can be any kind of um, liquor. It doesn't have to be bourbon, but it particularly is used for bourbon, and that's what it's known for. I got you. So. All right. So bottle and bond is supposed to be a legitimate type of bourbon right. back in the day when it was largely illegit. Uh, there you go. Maybe it could be too legit. Would you then want to quit? <laughs> uh, so here's what we were thinking. We would drink three different expressions from Heaven Hill, uh, the same exact mash bill, just different ages, and potentially different barrels, although I don't know the specifics on that. but No, it, in order to be a bourbon, it has to be in a white oak. Barrel. Well, what I'm saying, yeah, okay, I got you, I got you. We don't know if they're the exact same manufacturer. Oh, you're talking about the char and yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. No, 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 I don't we know don't know that. that. Um, it's a little confusing on exactly where this stuff is going or where it comes from. So this particular one, Evan Williams, is distilled in Louisville, Kentucky mm -hmm. at the Heaven Hill Distillery, which is just a little bit west of downtown. So that's part mm -hmm. of town you don't want to be hanging out in necessarily. <laughs> that's where my grandparents it's grew up. Great place to have a bunch of warehouses. <laughs> yeah, that is a great place to have a bunch of warehouses. Mm -hmm. This is distilled in Louisville. Uh, some of the ones we're going to look at later were actually uh, aged in Bardstown. But this one, the rumor is that it's aged in Louisville right there at the Bernheim Distillery or the Heaven Hill Distillery or whatever. Retail price here is 22 It used to be lower. 
But uh, it's more popular, and I guess they're doing a little bit of a cash grab on that. Of course, it's 100 proof, Courtney. Mm -hmm. It's bottled and bond. Of course. It uh, has to be four years. This one is said to be five, although there is no age statement on the bottle. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people believe this is the best value in super budget bourbon. Now, mm -hmm. we believe that uh, Old Forester 100 is the best value in inexpensive bourbon. However, a bottle of that will run you more like 30-ish, mm -hmm. 32-ish. This is well below that. This is 22-ish. So. Yep. Super budget. Uh, would you be interested in cracking this bitch open? And I'm ready to. I will say that I'm glad that I pre-opened it prior to uh, the <laughs> show. I did open it. I did not tasted it um, pre here. Pre-opened. But it has a screw cap on it, so you know that it's a high dollar bourbon. You know it's good. <laughs> has a screw cap. Took me a while to get this um, Superfluous plastic crap stuff. off of it. I don't know what it is, but... That's just a little accessory. So now here we go. We're going to have this tasty Evan Williams. Otag said earlier he was drinking some uh, Buffalo Trace. Okay. Uh, says my selection is limited here at the hotel. That's I... Otag, you're doing great, bro. Uh, Kanuman jumps in and says, same here, Otag. Kanuman's still on the, is he on the Western swing? I don't know where he's at. Um, and then AU256 says he is sipping on some Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, which we All will right. hit next. Okay, cheers. So, and cheers. Cheers. Let's see here. Okay, this smells kind of like a standard nose. Yeah, um, it's very... A little ethanol-y. Mm-hmm. Again, this is a low-price bourbon, so I wouldn't expect it to be like that Old Forester 1924 or anything, but... Yeah, kind of... Kind of a mm. new, neutral nose. I know what you're going to say about this. Okay, so the thing that stands out to me about it is it has an uh, even burn. Very mild, very mild burn. I would say it's a mild, even burn, correct. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I would say I taste a little caramel in it. It's light, whatever. A little caramel, yeah, it's very light. It feels light, even though it's they're not, all 100, but. I still, have the, I still have a little taste in my throat. You'll love that, in my throat. Um, tastes a little is, grainy to me. I don't mean coarse. No, I don't mean coarse mm. going down. I just taste grainy. Mm. Tastes young. It doesn't taste young to me. I think it tastes young. It just tastes light to me. It's just there's not much complexity to it. But I think this could be good. First of all, it's not gross at all. You could get away with sipping on this. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. I also think it would be good in a mixer because it's got some punch to it, you know? It's 100. Yeah. I, it, it's good. Yeah. It's good. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn my nose up at this. I would not turn my nose up at this. I would. Um, I don't know that I would go willingly to the bar and be like, "Yes, hand me that Evan Williams uh, bottle and bond, please." That's that's what I need. Uh, Warren M. Steve says he just finished finished off a bottle of Old Bardstown. I wonder if he means the bottle and bond. Oh, I love the bottle and bond Old Bardstown. That would be the yeah, same price as this. Yeah, you can only get in Kentucky. So. This would be an Evan, that would be the only Evan Williams BIB beater because it's the same price. It's we, about the same. Price, we may yeah. like it a little bit better. I did before. I did like it before. This is good, though. I mean, it's it's very pleasant. Yeah, I can still taste it. Um, a nice, pleasant taste. Um, I know I've had some bourbon, but it's not burning. Um, like I said, oh, no, light caramel. Um, yeah, I think I think it's good. It tastes a little sweet, and to me, it's, it's just kind of neutrally. Uh, I'm with Mike V on this. He says that would be great in an old fashioned, but just okay, neat. It's not a terrible, it's, it's surprisingly good for $22. That's, it's very good. That's good for the price. No it's very good. I mean, we went to, in uh, Louisville, we did go to the Evan Williams Experience. 100%. And it's a great tour if y'all ever go. I'm, it might be my favorite tour just from an entertainment perspective. Uh, yes. Um, it is an experience. It's not a tour of a distillery. Um, Although and, they um, do have a miniature distillery. Yeah, there. they have basically the equivalent of a craft distillery in, in the basement there, <laughs> wherever it was. But yeah. Um, and it was it was nice. It was um, a fun little tour and a great nice tasting day. room. Um, but um, I would definitely recommend that if you're in downtown Louisville right there on um, uh, <laughs> Broadway. Just got a text from Pipe. He's pretty happy about the shirt. And I appreciate you sending that along, Yes, Bobby. it's very nice. Um, 
Uh, Warden Steve uh, added to his earlier post, it was not the Baldwin Bond, Baldwin Bond okay. it was oh, the, okay. uh, the state, which is okay. also solid. Mm -hmm. A little more expensive, but still good. Mm -hmm. uh, Blake R. is in the house with us tonight. We love him. Hey, He's Blake. a czar of the East Coast. He says, hola to my favorite power couple, the, the Webbers, of oh. course. I've never met in person, along with oh, along with the Webbers. Oh. It was okay. us. Oh, that's so sweet. I thought for sure he was going to say that. Oh, uh, that's was gonna very be the Webbers. Well, and Mike B says uh, that this what we're drinking does hold its own in blinds mm -hmm. uh, traditionally. So. I can see that. Um, it's very pleasant. I would definitely. This is a great thing to have. I would definitely put this on on the bar. Not like, hey, look what I have, bar. But I would have it to be able to drink. Um, you know, as a mixer, even like you said, because it's got a little bit of spice to it. Yeah. Um, we didn't discuss the mash bill of these all. Did you remember? Uh, I can get pretty damn close. It's 78% corn. It's like 13% Mal malted barley. I think it's like 10%. I just um, know it's 78 corn. Yeah. A lot of and corn. these all have the same mash bill. So mm -hmm. there you go. Uh, okay. How many charcoal briquettes would you give this bitch? Um, how many we have? How many? What is, is our choice up to what? See, well, the original one was four, but we might have to go to five just to distinguish it a little bit better. I think five's fair. All right. Well, so we'll do five charcoal briquettes. How okay. many of this? So, see, it's hard because, like, if it's... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm doing two and one half I would give briquettes. it three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah, I think it's good. I On think it's really good. On a $22 bourbon, that's pretty freaking I good. Think it's, I think it's really good. And, I mean, uh, I am not going to turn my nose up at this. Blake says Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond is the shit! Well, we're going to go to that in just a moment. Let me finish my little pour here. Oh. Mm. Mm. I thought that was good. Are you hydrating? Yeah, I've, I've hydrate. been hydrating. I know ballers hydrate, but I've been hydrating. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, went, I didn't call you that. <laughs> hey, Pipe, I think you're Pipe. trying to trick him. Pipe says, you're not as thick as you drunk you are. <laughs> Come on, man. He's been working all day, bro. No judgment. No judgment. No trouble. No, no trouble. Uh, okay, next one up is the uh, Heaven Hill 7 year. Yep. That's what we're going to do next? Mm-hmm. All right, Heaven Hill Seven Year. There it is. It now is. this bottle bothers me a little bit already before we even start. Okay, so it pisses me off. All right, so Heaven Hill this. Distillery. This is distilled in Bernheim. <laughs> you learned this today too. In downtown, <laughs> this is aged in Bardstown. However, this is not yeah. aged in downtown Little. Retail price is fifty-ish. It's sixty on the ABC stores. We've ABC seen this. Stores. Okay, we've seen this a little higher then. So sixty dollars. Mm -hmm. Hundred proof, obviously. Seven years old. There was a six-year version. This is a true story. It had the mm -hmm. green label on it. Six-year version was $15 in Kentucky. I saw it in Tennessee as well. but You can only get it in Kentucky. I'm not sure that's true because me and Ben Wolk got it in Tennessee at the SEC tournament in 2019. It was like a green. Okay. I'm just telling you what, what they told me. Well, Reddit isn't they always 100% correct. It's not Reddit that told me this. Did you talk to Mr. Heaven himself? I did. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Anyway, they had a six-year version of this that was fifteen dollars before, and now it's seven years, and it's Corny saying sixty bucks. So. Well, first of all, the one this? thing is they redesigned a bottle. It's a nice-looking bottle. They redesigned the bottle, guys. They have a new label. They have a real cork. <laughs> so those things do cost a little bit more. Yeah, it's worth forty-five dollars a bottle. No, Fuck yeah, I mean, yeah. but obviously it's working for them because everybody knows about this. Everybody knows about this beverage. Uh, yeah, okay. Right? Blake knows. I know that. Blake knows. So we're going to crack this bad boy open. I had some Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond 7 last weekend uh, at the bar. Because it has a very pretty looking bottle. It looks very clean and refined. It's, it's a thick one. As someone who used to lay out newspapers, I like modular design. And that's a very modular design right there. If uh, Jeffrey Lee is watching, he would know exactly what I'm talking about. Jeffrey Lee watched our show last week. I know he did. Because, no, he didn't. I swear to God, because he was he commented on something in the show last week that he would never have known unless he had watched it. He probably watched it afterwards. No, I know he did that, but I'm saying he did take a look at it, which is cool. Yeah, we love Jeffrey nice. Lee. What a stud that guy is. I saw his car this week, I told you, at the vet's office. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Mm, ooh, that's got a good nose. A better. much better nose than the other one. Um, this is allocated in Alabama for some reason. Now, if you go to Georgia, and particularly in Florida, it's all over the place. It's so, so ridiculous. Not hard to find there. Our state is so weird. So today I was perusing the... Um, let me have a little sip first. Wow, okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, that is so smooth. That is, yeah, it so is. smooth. It is. That um, is nothing warm about that at all. This is a little more refined, I guess. It has a much better nose. I get that same kind of sweet thing on the front end. Oh, this is really, this is an easy drinker. This is an easy drinker. Well, yeah, for us, 100 proof is light. That's like water for no, us. No, but I'm saying it's not. This one, definitely, the M.M. Williams was a little hotter. No kidding. To me. Both at 100, I got you. I'm just saying, B. This is a, the taste. This is a better finish, too. Yes. I like the finish better. And it doesn't taste young as young to me. Very easy. Very easy to drink. You get some spice. You get some sweet. Getting like a little bit of molasses there. You got some long-ass legs in this glass. There is no, um, there is no burn at all. Um, at the very end, I feel like a little tickle. Like a little tickle, but not a... <laughs> Just a little tickle? But it's not... It is not uh, warm pickle. at all. Tickle That's the good. pickle a little bit. Just tickle the pickle. That's good. A little bit. I like this. The long, the legs on this are incredibly long. I mean, it's like Elle McPherson long legs right here. Elle McPherson, you're showing your age. Elle so. McPherson, everybody knows who she is. She's ubiquitously hot. Everybody knows. AU two fifty six even knows. Just picked up oh some at gosh. Costco in Colorado. Was stupid how many they had compared to Alabama. It really is dumb. Why we don't get better stuff? In I see this crap about the things that people pick up at Costco. Like you can, in other Dude, states, you can pick up tons. like Blanton's at Costco. I'm like, it's crazy. I mean, I'm not a huge Blanton's fan. I'm just saying, everybody here waits in line for hours to get one at the store, and I'm like, you got it. You go to another state and you go to Costco and get it. Mike Beast and E.H. Taylor too. Good luck with that one. Uh, Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond was allocated in Indiana until last year, late last year. Now it's everywhere, and the price came down. How about oh, that? Oh, that's interesting. That's what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. Indiana. We like Indiana. We used to go shopping in Indiana because we felt like we were fucking the man because the uh, sales <laughs> tax was only 5.5%. It was 5%, and in Kentucky it was 6%. Oh, it was not. What? It was higher, wasn't it? It was no. a bigger gulf. No, it was 1%. Only 1%. And I, did I really feel like I was beating the man by yes. taking it? Yes. Oh You're like, we're going to go buy a TV. I'm like... Okay, Jay, we're going to go. Well, yeah, we did buy a TV over there, didn't we? We did. I got the extra 1%. Like, fuck off. Yes. Got that 1%. Uh, that was back when the TV, though, like, you actually had to save money for a TV. Like, it wasn't like you do these days where you can easily find something. But back then, I remember it was, um, oh, what was that first one you got? We got a Mitsubishi. I mean, it was right. a Mitsubishi 27-inch, and I was yes. so stoked to have it. And that it. thing weighed, like, a coffin. It was so heavy. It was so heavy. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Oh, that guy, this guy, this guy needs to seriously chill the frick out, man. God, I'm so tired. Why is that in the Don't bunker? Just, we're doing other things right now. Sorry, Stolte is going to uh, take uh, action on a particular thread on the bunker that shouldn't have ever been posted. I don't understand. It's crazy. It belonged in the political thread from the very beginning, and it's the same guy that keeps doing it over and over again. Dummies. He's probably been drinking. AU256 says $44 for him, which is a mm. terrific price, honestly, for this. It is. Mm. Cordy says this is 60 here. I thought it was more like 50, but I don't think we paid that much. Do we pay that much for that? I, I'm just telling you, when I went to the ABC site today, that's what they said it was. $59.99. They also said right. um, double eagle rare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that was going to be um, $1,500 retail. They're, they're hard to come by, Cordy. Mm -hmm. I, I'm aware, but... By the way, those of you in Alabama, there is going to be a bonus uh, allocation drop this weekend mm -hmm. at the ABCs. If you happen to live in the Goat Madison or in Montgomery or one of, or near one of the other big stores, uh, there's going to be quite a bit of shit there. So I would encourage you to go by maybe. If you don't want to tater it and go like full 530 in the morning waiting in line, which I would never advocate, you could probably swing by at like 10. Yeah. They said every store will have Blanton's and Buffalo Trace. So if you are looking for that, I'm saying if you're looking for that and you haven't had it, there's your opportunity. They have other stuff there too. They have some Old They'll Forester have plenty uh, of stuff. 100 um, store picks and some of the blue label and black label. That's what I would go after okay. personally. You know, I mean, you don't have to. I, I understand. Okay, so uh, this Heaven Hill 7-year bottled and bond, pretty freaking good. I think huh? it's really good. I think it's really good um, my, for the price point. I don't know. In Alabama, if I'm going to spend $60, I don't know that I'm going to get. Yeah, at $60, we're looking at Rick I mean, Russell's we just reserve. opened this. I don't even remember what we paid for it, but um, 
it yeah it was we couldn't easily get it so we paid what we had to pay for it this is a delicious sipper i think you can hit this pretty much every day it's just it needs to be like forty dollars yeah i agree at forty dollars that would be an absolute yeah. home run every single day but it's sixty dollars i think it's a little much Let's see, Mike B says this was 55 last year, 49 today. Okay. So he's seeing improvement on that That's end. Good. I'm shocked to learn that the Alabama ABC people are jacking up the price. Yeah, right. Just kidding. Uh, Kadoomin says you've been out west since March the 4th, Courtney. Wow. On the exact day of our anniversary. Of our, no, our first date. First me. date. And he will be out until April for the same reason. How about wow. That? And uh, Blake jokes that Kadoomin is... Money, 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 <laughs> cash, money. Bank. All right, so how many charcoal briquettes on this one, Cordy? You see, I'm taking price into consideration. It's fine. You can do whatever you want. I'd say three then. Wow, it's a step down. See, I went from three, two and a half to three and a half, and you went from three and a half to I three. I went the other way because I'm like, if I only want to spend 25 bucks, that's a good deal. It's because you're thrifty, aren't I you? I am thrifty. Typically, except for when I want to travel, then I'm like really bougie. <laughs> when I want to travel, I have very, very specific things when I travel. Okay, if you say so, it's fine. Uh, we got one more. One more. Do you know what it is? It would be the Henry McKenna. Henry McKenna 10 Bottom Bond. I've always referred to it as McKenna, so when I went <laughs> looking today on the ABC site, I'm like, they don't have McKenna listed on here. It was, it was by the H. <laughs> so, dirt the dirt. <laughs> Go back and find Henry McKenna. This bad boy is hard to find in the state of Alabama, but very easy to find in the state of Georgia. Allocated again here. I'm not sure why it's so easy to find in Georgia, but it is. Uh, in Florida, I don't think we saw this either. So We have yeah. a real cork, but the top's plastic. Well, you didn't pay that damn much for it. It's crazy to me that this is a, uh, approximately the same price as the Heaven Hill 7. This is three years older. Now, our good friend, uh, J-Dub, this is like one of his favorites. J-Dub loves that. Loves it. I do like you also have your little um, informational flyer attached. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's really important. About um, Adds value. about uh, McKenna and who he was. Adds value. And um, also it explains what bottle and bond means on there Oh, as that's well. great. Is that where you got your notes? No, it's not. Thank okay. you. Uh, this is distilled by Heaven Hill, just as the other stuff was. Uh, distilled in Louisville, aged in Bardstown. 65-ish is what we're looking at on these. You can find those in Georgia for that price. I don't think this is a big deal. Uh, 100 proof, 10 years old. Obviously, in the name, you can tell that. Now, this, according to Reddit, now, I didn't mess with this uh, bourbon before probably COVID, but... According to Reddit, this was $30 back in the day. Then it wins Best in Show at the San Francisco Spirits Showdown or whatever. Now it's $65. Oh, very interesting. See? Hmm. It's the same. This story seems to be kind of cyclical, mm -hmm. where the Evan Williams has gone up in price. The Heaven Hill seven years gone up Okay, a lot. what hasn't gone and up this... in price since 2020, though? <laughs> Honestly. Pours down on First <laughs> Avenue. Oh, nice. Classy. You get a handy and a finish for 125 cash or 130 on Venmo. I, I, re I read it on uh, uh, Gump, Gump Town Uncensored or whatever. I don't know. I've never been down there. Maylee says McKenna was a deal several years ago. I taste candy. All right, so this to me is a sweeter version of mm -hmm. what we just drank. It has the mm -hmm. same exact taste to me. You know, it's interesting because at 10 year, some of the other 10 years that I've had start to taste a little oaky and a little, you know, in in the barrel a little too long. Uh -huh. This tastes is this tastes really sweet to it's me. It's really it is pretty sweet. Like almost candy like. I taste the oak on the end, not in the front or the middle. It has a nice nose though. Let's see, Mike B makes a great point here. Now, one thing I haven't left out yeah. is that this is a single barrel product. Yes. And I read about Very this good. on Reddit. People think this is really up and down. So That's true. They'll say, I got three you different have... uh, McKenna bottles, and then I've had three different feelings about each one of them. Like, one was really good, one was just average. So, yeah, there's definitely some variability in this That's that you would not see in the yeah, other ones. I forgot about that. That is true. So I appreciate you, Mike. That's great. That's adding some really good context on that one. Yes. Yeah, um, so what's the difference, Jay, between a single barrel and just being bottled and bond? 
Well, bond on bond, you could Okay, single barrel means it's com all, everything's coming straight out of a particular barrel. One barrel. And a lot of them, they blend them. A lot of bourbons. I'm not saying bottle and bond, but bourbons in general. Right. They will blend various barrels, and that's right. how you get that homogenous, mm -hmm. why there's not a lot of variability. Right. Uh, but in a McKenna, yeah, if it's coming from one barrel, what, if that barrel has great wood or it doesn't have great wood or it's in a different part of the warehouse or whatever, mm -hmm. it can affect the taste a lot. For sure. So, great point, Mike. Yes, great point. That's why we love Mike. So we call them a uh, high value. But the thing is, blender. is the one thing like the Four Roses single barrel, I always get the same consistency with that. Always. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah, that's true. So that's interesting that there would be something different here. So it has to be how it they um, how they age it, right? It has to be well, where it is. I in mean, the warehouse, and also do the you know, chill filtered, which I believe Heaven Hill does. Could change it. Could mute it a little bit. Okay. Just throwing ideas out there. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm, this is really good, but it, I do taste... This is probably one of the sweetest bourbons I've ever tasted. No shit. Including the finished ones. You, dude, that um, barrel uh, Ambarana finish, you need to try that. That really is like sugar. And we had one recently. Oh, it was that... Uh, I don't want to spoil it for the show, but we got that Peerless Toasted. Uh -huh. That was really sweet, too. Mm. That's tasty. That's tasty. I need another pour of that. That was like a dessert drink. Yeah, uh, Cuz says J Dub was a big McKenna fan. He's a huge McKenna fan. You're right about that, Chris. Also, my friend Ian is a big fan of uh, the McKenna Ten as well. So I think that if you skew, you know your own likes, and a lot of you guys do because you drink bourbon. But if you're someone who likes really sweet stuff, this is going to be one that you're going to really, really want to consider. Well, this is going to be one that will be had on Easter Sunday. <laughs> because J Dub's coming over. Yes, and because Jesus has risen. So we need to celebrate him with some bourbon. He's back. He's back. Christ is risen, no That's doubt. That's right. I don't want to skew uh, political here, though. Uh, uh, Knuman <laughs> says uh, Henry McKenna it's not very political. <laughs> is absolutely fantastic. I will, well, it's a little sweet for me, brother, but it's a I good bourbon. I think it's delicious. It's a good bourbon. It's um, definitely my favorite here. Um, this is going to get a good oh, oh, how many 4.25. Four and a 4. quarter. 4.25. Wow, I'm going to go four on that. This is really good. I really like it. Um, I did look up who Henry McKenna was. Henry McKenna Tell was... Tell me, Jay. I'd love my history lesson. I was like, what, is he some like fucking master distiller? No, he was a Irishman who came over from Derry County in Ireland. Mm -hmm. He moved uh, into, I guess, Nelson County down there near Bardstown. Isn't that crazy to think that people came all the way across there and then still... Yeah. Had to travel all the way from the East Coast into Kentucky. And why would you just? Can you imagine how long that would take? Why would you just? You would be like, "Hey, man, I'm going to Bardstown, Kentucky. Fuck it, that's where I'm going." Like, uh, that, there was no uh, bourbon at that time, so why would I you mean, even go to Bardstown? You, I don't know. Yeah, it's just so strange. It's, I know that you went where there was unclaimed land, right? Well, this isn't the fucking Sooners, Courtney. What the hell? Jay, yeah, that's kind of what they did. That's what settlers did. Uh, since he gives it six point nine charcoal. <laughs> I'm married into this. God dang it. Uh, Henry McKenna settled in Bardstown. He was a laborer. Had nothing to do with bourbon. Uh, he had um, an entrepreneurial spirit. A spirit, excuse me. So over time, he saved up money and he built a shit. Some kind of a some kind of a mill. Okay, not not for bourbon. Okay. And the waste from this mill was like weeded products. Okay. He was feeding it to his, his sows, but he had too much. And so he asked around, like, what the hell can I do with this shit? And they said, hey, man, why don't you make whiskey, uh, uh, a corn whiskey? No, no, wheat whiskey. Okay. So fuck it, I made it. And then it started catching on. Then he started adding corn to it because that's what all the other people were doing. And sure, sure enough, he had made his own. It wasn't called McKenna. It had some other, it was like called like Old Irish or something. Huh. Anyway, he ended up going to Louisville and like really kind of getting into it. You know, he had a place mm -hmm. on Whiskey Row. And he was distilling uh, up to 10 barrels per day. And wow, it, that's a lot back in the I day. I know. I think he was cranking <laughs> that shit out. And uh, it lasted a couple generations, and then it, it went away. And uh -huh. then um, it was revived by Heaven Hill. Yes, very nice. So that's what Henry McKenna did. I like and, it. And uh, we also had a priest at our church who was Father McKenna. Yeah, we Not did. Not related to Henry McKenna. But uh, he's passed away He's now, always though. go, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 In yeah. the middle of the homily, y'all. <laughs> we are now joined by B. Haynes. Who is hey, coming, B. Haynes. Who is coming to us live from uh, Points North. 
Nicely done. Ah, uh, indeed, indeed. Well, um, I I really enjoyed this. This is very tasty. I think if you can get your hands on this, pick this one up. None of these you are going to pick up and you're going to be like, I shouldn't have gotten this. The Evan Williams, know what you're getting into. Like, it's 22 bucks. You know it. it's not a big investment. It's good for what it is. If I was to pick between these two, I would definitely go with the McKenna. Because we're looking at close to the same price point in Alabama. But you just can't find it. You can't find it. That's yeah. true. That, that makes it a little yeah. more challenging. Yeah. And don't be tricked by the fake McKenna. They have some brown label McKenna, and that ain't, uh, that ain't oh, it. Oh, really? That ain't it. I did That's not the shit that, that J-Dub got. It got like a half gallon for like 16 bucks, and then we thought it would be good. And it was, it was kind of ass. <laughs> it's not so good. <laughs> uh, Cuz reminds everyone to like and subscribe. Uh, nine thumbs up out of 20,000 people is really not very good, so give it a thumbs up <laughs> if you guys don't mind. <laughs> I'm with you completely. McKenna, I think, is the pick here. Um, I gave it four charcoal briquettes, which is a lot for me. Four and a half. No, four, four and a quarter. Four, four, four and a quarter for Courtney. I'm sorry. Four point two five. Four and a quarter. For, for Courtney Tate. Four and a quarter. Came without a hoarder. How'd I do? That's great. Hey, thanks. You are in a hoarder's house. It's not. It's. It is a hoarder's house. However, it's not the a hoarder's house anymore. The hoarder is not here anymore. The hoarder's. <laughs> Hoarder's gone. <laughs> gone. Ravens has right. picked up a bottle of Henry McKenna at the Honey Hole a few weeks ago. Oh, look at Raven. you. Ravens. Working it. Wow. He's working it. Hey, now. Mm. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. I, I like it. It's just you got to be in the mood for something this sweet. Mm. Mm. All right, so there you go. It does seem that uh, longer aging adds complexity and sweetness to yes. That mash bill. It's very good. I, I know I've had it before, but it has definitely been a minute since I've had it. Uh, Melee decides maybe we ought to change our, um, what do we call that? Our uh, unit of greatness. Measurement. Instead of barquette, briquettes, we can change it to wood pellets. Wood pellets. A reason we call it charcoal briquettes We could do is uh, barrels. 4.25 barrels. Um... Oh, wow. Since he says, I went to the honey hole a couple of days ago. Oh, rawr. Uh The reason we call it Charcoal Baquettes is we used to watch this uh, <laughs> lady on like late night Oh, what TV, was she called? And she would... Oh, what was her name? She was an old lady that like, did like the sex talk. She was like Dr. Westheimer, but it wasn't Dr. Yes. Westheimer. Oh, trick. my gosh. What was her name? And... She was awesome. And so she would rate sex toys yes. by how many briquettes. How many, um, how many fiery briquettes? Yeah. How saucy was it going to be? She said, this vibrator right here is worth <laughs> three and a half briquettes. We thought it's it was so durable. Funny. You can put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> I'm like, no, don't do that. That sounds like a terrible idea. Take the batteries out first. Corrosion. Uh, let's see what, Blake might have some scoop for us here. Heaven Hill, along with the Buffalo Trace and Kirin Brewery that owns Four Roses, produce the best bourbons in my opinion. Okay. Uh, Kirin is Japanese and produces one of the best beers in the world. Interesting. Somebody, oh it was Justin, like. it was Justin Owens. Yes. Down at the cigar bar had a Legion, I believe it was. It was yes. a special edition Legion that was produced by or from Kirin. Yes. And I got the feeling it was very expensive. <laughs> I mean, if it's yes. a Justin shop, it's gonna be expensive. But True. It was in like a box and I was like. Well, I will uh -oh. say, we had this discussion before. I don't like beer that tastes like bourbon. And I don't want bourbon that has a beer taste in it either. Like neither none of those I don't want to cross paths. Like where, where we, they need to be um, they need to be parallel. How do we get here? We're talking about brewery. Oh. So they need to be parallel. I do not like the crossing of those two. Well, you know, Cuz has some of those Bardstown Bourbon Company uh, collaborations that are with the, right. the founders. I, I like them but I'm not wild about them. Oh, that's cool. But me, to each his own. More for me and you, cuz. Yeah. Wardam Steve says, is Henry sweet? I haven't ever had it. Can't remember if I have one or two. I, I'm, wait, what now? I think he's trying to decide he hasn't broken them open. He oh, hasn't. okay, okay. Colleen Biscuit wants to know what channel was this briquette woman <laughs> on? Oh! Hmm. What was it? I, I bet it's we... got to be Showtime. No. Skinamax. It Skinamax? Was, no, it, there's no way. Was it Skinamax? No, there's no way. Oh. There's no Doctor, way. Doctor, I can't remember what her name. 
I don't know. No, it's not going to come up. Yeah, I'm going to have to like Google this. I'm gonna it's going to gonna take a minute. Oh, I cannot remember her name. Maybe it wasn't Charcoal oh. Briquettes. Sex, talks with, sex Talk with oh, Sue Johansson. Sue Johansson, yes. Oh Sue my Johansson, God. there she there is. There she is. Show that off, there we go. Oh my gosh, so what, but I still don't know what channel she was on. It had to be Cinemax. Here's what it looked like, guys. That's her That's right her, yes. And I was just like, I couldn't believe somebody, an elderly person such as herself, was in there just like blatantly talking about this stuff. It, Melee, was, it was awesome. Melee says public access. I, no. I, I, no, I think it was on public no, access. No, it was not. Jay, we never watched anything on public access. It wasn't going to be on NBC like this. No, and it wasn't on awesome. Skinamax or whatever. Go back to what you pulled up and it's going to tell you what she was Why on. Why don't you go pull out or whatever you're going to work me? on? You heard me. <laughs> oh my God. I had to watch low volume. <laughs> With your finger on the previous channel button. <laughs> she was awesome. Oh, wait, oh my I... gosh, that was awesome. <laughs> she was great. Oh no. Uh, says... Well, we'll have to figure out what she was on. Somebody can look it up for us now that they know her name. Sue Johansson. Sue Johansson. We're in the middle yeah. of a show. We she can't figure it out. Ra- she said there was a radio show too. Oh, she was. She was. She was wow. awesome. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna have to listen to some of that again. Maybe see if some of those products are still around. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's what we call it, Charcoal Kids. <laughs> uh, I don't understand, uh, Courtney. This is a new uh, member. Hey. Karujb. Hey, Karujb. Says, what's next for the bourbon blend? Uh, I was thinking we could probably move to Serbia and do the show there, like, with an international flavor. Um, what's next for the bourbon blend is Courtney drinking more McKenna. <laughs> That's what's on tap next. Actually, what's next on the uh, agenda here is we're going to photos. Oh. <laughs> and uh, here hey, we go. Says she's got experience, eh? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, she's been around the block once or twice. And also, uh, Pipe says Kieran is super. I, I like, well, I was more of an Asahi guy, but Kieran is good too. You I, say Kieran. I would have said Kieran. Kieran. That's Sorry. what I would say, but I, like don't Kieran I don't know. Kieran Dunst? I don't know. No. I don't know either. Kirsten. I don't know how to say Oh, really? Uh, let's go to photos, Courtney. We got some photos here. Hi, photos. Yes, I was so excited about this. Jay, share what we got in the mail. Well, it says eat beef, so that, that, was, that was for you. <sighs> Uh, we had our anniversary recently on, uh, well, our first anniversary our of our date, first date. Our date anniversary. Our first date was on March 4th, 1992. And so right. we went to Logan. We had, Log- we had Logan's that day. In 1992, right, in Lexington, 1992. Kentucky. So we went out to the. We were on a double date. And Logan's. Jay liked the other girl more than me, but that's okay. I had just met you. And she was a long play. Anyway. But anyway, you, you blew me away, honestly. Oh, meow, meow, meow. Wow. <laughs> I re- that was the night I realized how special you were. Is that because I told you? Yes. <laughs> yes or no? You hotboxed me. <laughs> anyway, so we went back to the Logans in Prattville on March 4th of this year, and we had dinner again to celebrate our date anniversary. And I twatted it at uh, Logan's, and they picked it up and said, we'd like to send you something. So yeah, they did. Yeah, DMJ, and they're like, can we have your address? And I'm like, is it really Logan's asking for your address? So <laughs> they sent us a care package here, and uh, it was really nice. Two like, hats. Some really nice, those are those really heavy duty thick solo cups. Yeah. That are, and then we had two shirts and two gift cards. Yeah. I like that it's two gift cards because maybe I go on my own <laughs> and leave you behind. <laughs> maybe it's time. It's time for you to go on your own or with another guy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we also have a bumper sticker if anybody needs a Logan's Roadhouse Eat Beef <laughs> Corny, would you sticker. like to eat beef? <laughs> Corey says, Jay was present sipping bourbon this past Sunday for my an- date anniversary. Or is uh, it anniversary? It was no, our it was anniversary. anniversary. That is so nice of you. And Corey uh, graciously uh, bought me a, a pour. That which, was nice, oh, it was Corey. It's incredibly nice. Very it was, nice. It, it was his anniversary. I should have been getting him a pour. Oh, or or nice. Tori, more, more importantly. That was very nice. Because she's putting up with him. Uh, and also, CJ adds some context. Says Sue Johansson was on W Network in Canada. That makes sense. Because it, it didn't seem like a normal American show. Yeah, I get that. But we had to be watching it on something on our cable like, vision. Yeah, it was on cable in like 93. What so was the cable company in Lexington called? Um, fuck, I don't know. Oh. Anyway. I'll be able to figure it out at some point. Okay, so anyway, Logan's, thank you. You're not watching thank the you, show Thank you, Logan's. Right now. You're not watching the well, show. Well, we have 22,000 viewers. We might be. Should I send them a DM back and say at least thank you for that? Or well, you be... send a, we need to, you need to twat about it. We'll go there and we'll wear the hats and use our gift cards. <laughs> it says smoking the good stuff, Courtney. Would you be willing to smoke some good stuff? I would. I'll be like. Uh, I was in front of the football <laughs> complex the other day. On another, and... <laughs> in another 
And one of the players, I don't know which one, has this Chucky doll attached to the front of his scooter. And I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> and so I took a picture of it. It's fucking it scary says, as hell. The, the, the bib here says, good guys. <laughs> I just thought it was really funny, it's man. Fucking awful. It's fucking awful. That's so frightening. It, it's like John Gruden oh. on a bike or whatever. But yeah, I thought that was pretty rad. Mm. I thought that was pretty rad. That's awful. Uh, let's see. Courtney, Chucky is frightening. I'd like for you to just explain this to me. <laughs> what, what was going on here? This is at our favorite bar, by the way, the tipping point. So we were there, and um, it was the end of, as you can tell, it's the end of the evening. <laughs> There's nobody, <laughs> nobody else there. there. <laughs> and um, I'm like, you know what? They actually have blue moon on draft, but I'm not going to buy a full blue moon. I don't need a full blue moon. I just want a little taste. So I was like, I want a taste. So I got the supersonic taster, and uh, Jay had to photograph that because he is. never sees me drink beer. I, I don't I haven't seen you drink beer in 10 years, I don't think. I know, right? Unless, no, Chickalo Bolter you'll drink sometime. Yeah. But whatever, a real beer. Uh, oops, sorry, I got Chucky there. And uh, let's see what... Oh, these are two pictures that I got at practice the other day that I was kind of proud of. Uh, That's a great he, picture. Look at that. He, he high-pointed the ball and got the nipple of the ball like, right between his hands. I thought that was a really nice catch. That's Cam Coleman, uh, the outstanding true freshman at Auburn. And he got the throw from Peyton Thorne, who's number one right here. Oh, he got it to him? He did. That's great. He, he didn't. He didn't. Because there's no other players on the field. So he didn't therefore. worm burn it. He didn't worm burn it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Karub says uh, Cam Coleman had a Chucky T-shirt on in Brian's interview today. So maybe that is Cam Coleman's scooter. I don't know. We'll have to maybe ask. Maybe it him. is. You'll have to ask for license plate number. <laughs> hey Cam. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a picture I took of Sam Jackson, uh, the transfer wide receiver from Cal. And I like how he he made this really hard cut, and you can see the grass kicking up under his feet. He's shooting it straight up in the air as he cuts over to catch this pass. I really like Sam Jackson. I was uh, the, the other day was my first time to talk to him like for a, a while. And I really like this kid. Um, he's cool as hell, man. So this is with your real camera? Yeah. See, I didn't even notice the grass until you mentioned it. And then that's Henri there in the background. Oh, uh, he didn't have sweatpants on. I know. That's exciting. Wow, yeah. it's a big day. So, yeah. There you go. Nice. Uh, also, like before we get too far, uh, oh, God dang. Sorry, O-Tag. Appreciate that, bro. Um, he said, Jay drank all of Tori's beer Saturday night <laughs> without Tori's knowledge. <laughs> so Tori had enough beer, I thought, and, and uh, Corey agreed. So I was sitting next to Tori, who was talking to Courtney on the other side, and I kept snagging her beer and chugging it and putting it back. <laughs> And That's then she probably ran why out. you didn't feel great. She the ran next out, day. and then she went and got another one. And then I looked at Corey like, "Bro, what am I doing here?" And he said, "Keep trying." So I just kept drinking it. And then she goes, "Why are you drinking my beer?" I was like, "Uh oh." She oh, me. sorry, I just need a taste. Busted. Anyway, I really like Sam Jackson. I hope he has a great year. He's a really cool kid to talk to. I'm a big, big fan. So uh, he's going to play slot, and uh, him and uh, Rob Lewis will be playing a lot of slot this did year. Did he catch this ball? He did. Okay. He snatched this bad boy. And, uh, yeah. Oh, no. This is Ailey's fault. There she is. There she is. Uh, Goose Flat says, JGT, are y'all going to the ABC store allocation this weekend? I saw a list of some of the bourbons being released. Sounds like it's going to be a good release. It is kind of for a special bonus one. Uh, I was thinking about going later. I don't want to stand in line. Yeah, we're not early risers on Saturday morning. <laughs> no, nah, hell no. But we might. I'll probably swing by at like 10 or 11. And I just see what see they got. Left. Usually the taters are going after the Blantons and other shit like that. And I could sneak in there and get like an Old Forester blue label or black label. And I'd be stoked about that. Maybe some smoke wagon? I, some shit like that. I don't know. know about smoke wagon. I don't know about smoke wagon. It's fucking bullshit, Jay. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Hey, uh, Otag said, Wardam Cam. That's what I like uh, about that. Call Me Biscuit is 100% correct in this comment. And he said, need to keep them players off the scooters. Yes, no injuries for that the scooter. Is, that's how Alan Flanagan ruined an entire season of basketball for himself is when he got into a scooter wreck. And they go, so, not just them, but like the, even the students. I'm going to drink something else. Okay. Even the students that ride those bitches, oh, Lord, they're going Jay. like 100 miles an hour, no helmet. No helmet. That's crazy. Uh, mm -mm. Guys. Brains, you don't get your brains back. I mean, they go out on the pavement. They ain't going back in right. Wear a brain bucket. Yes. You please. know what I'm saying? Please. You know, I have a little baby who has a brain bucket on <laughs> all the time. This is all right, misshapen. Th I'm going <laughs> to so do this. Cute. Is something that I, I probably should not be doing. Oh, Lord. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink this uh, barrel, single barrel pick from Elixir, which is over in uh, 
uh, uh, South Nashville, mm -hmm. right by where the Saturn plant used to be. Laverne, maybe? I no, it's called... Um, I don't remember what the name of that place is, what the name of the city is, but... Uh, give me a second. The guy who runs this place is an absolute stud, by the way. It's two words. I fucking love this guy. Um, it's two words, sounds like. <laughs> um, sounds like ball bag. <laughs> oh, what is it called? Sounds like... Oh my God, it's going to me snatch. crazy. Sounds like iron lips. It begins with an S. We said this was one of the worst bourbons that we had ever tasted in our entire life. I'm going to go back in for science and see how this goes. This is going to be the barrel, single barrel store pick from Elixir. A 14 year. We paid some serious cash for this bitch. And yes. we hated it. Did not like it at all. Oh my God, this nose is ass. It's it smells butthole. Like, it smells like Flintstones vitamins. <laughs> smell that. Oh, it does smell like Flintstones. It does. Flintstones it? always smell like butt, but boy, they taste it good. <laughs> yeah, when you eat eight at a time, fucking in like chiclets, <laughs> like, and then, like, ah. Oh. And you're having like problems, and it's like you're having an iron overdose. <laughs> Fuck, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Otag said, loved his interview the other day, full of confidence. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you're talking about Sam or Cam, really, both of those kids. Um, and I had a chance to talk to uh, Rico Walker today, and I talked to uh, Too Tall. Who, too Tall. Uh, too Tall Miller, who plays right tackle for Auburn. And Spring Hill, goddammit. Spring Hill, Tennessee. I, did, I said it's two words and it starts with an S. <laughs> All right, so this... Oh, God. This is... <laughs> Bad. This is butthole. We paid a lot of money for butthole. <laughs> it's still butthole. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. He is so dramatic, y'all. It is not that bad. Oh, it's so fucking horrible. <laughs> I don't think I can even. <laughs> he's getting. Yeah, before tweaking. you talking shit. No. no, no, no. Why do I have to put it in my mouth? <laughs> you can put you've put worse. Rob Cart, right? Put that in your mouth. I'm bracing. Wait, wait, I gotta close my nose. <laughs> it's bad, but it's not as bad as you're saying. But it's bad. You remember, have you ever broken it's like bad. a... You ever had like it a, tastes like your, It tastes like your damn beaver just gnawing on wood. It's awful. Your beaver or whose beaver? No, I don't... That doesn't gnaw on wood. Like, I got hit by a foul ball one time at Chandler Baseball Camp, and I bled like a motherfucker into my mouth, and I... That's not what that tastes like. It Hold on, let, like let me finish. There's a man talking here. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Uh, so I got all that blood in my mouth, and it tasted a certain way, you know? Like, like blood tastes a certain way. And that's what this tastes like to me. Just like iron and blood. <laughs> Collie it's Biscuit awful. says, looks like dog shit, smells like dog shit. We better taste it again. <laughs> Spring Hill b -b 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 bourbon. Here's nah. the thing. When you pay that much for it, you're like, okay, maybe I was wrong. I got to go back in. But you see how much is gone. There's like nothing gone from this. Oh, and we've had it. God, I love Barrel too. About Over a, a year. It's been about a year. I think we reviewed this on our first show. Oh, it's Which would have been May last year. Mm. I have to finish it with some McKenna. Make my <laughs> taste buds come back. God, it's bad. Woo! Oh, fuck me. Who said we paid a lot of money for butthole? Did Jay say that or I said that? Yeah, that's probably I me. I don't know. Otag <laughs> says we paid a lot of money for butthole. <laughs> I don't know which of them it is. <laughs> me and Courtney. Was. I think Courtney used the same dialect anyway, I so. <laughs> I, happened, I came up earlier today. You were texting one of your girlfriends. I'm not going to say who. Yes. And she said something that set you up, and you said something wildly inappropriate. And she said, Jay's not even in Jay's this chat. Jay's not even in this chat. I figured Jay would say that. Oh, my God. <laughs> everybody, everybody should know. <laughs> hey, let me have some more of that butthole expensive bourbon. Expensive butthole I'm bourbon. the one. I should drink all this because I'm the dumbass that got this. <laughs> And he kind of like was sort of talking me out of it. No, no, no. He wanted you to buy it because he knew nobody else is going to buy the butthole bourbon. So. He said, this asshole isn't going to taste it. So. He's like, he's going to be in another state, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. Whew. Wow. Yowzers, what are you going for? I was just looking to see if there's anything else here I could sip on. But uh, I'll try this IW Harper. Yeah. This shit's pretty good. 
I haven't had that in a minute. I, that's pretty good. Now, I've had this discussion several times about decanters, and this is beautiful. Sausage Burger said this is great. He loves watching me drink <laughs> shitty bourbon. <laughs> this is not shitty bourbon. No, this is not. This is overrated, but it's not shitty. So Courtney likes this decanter. The decanter is gorgeous. It reminds me, and I've said this before, so excuse me if I'm repeating myself, but it is, it is a beautiful decanter. It reminds me of my grandmom and what she would have at, on her bourbon collection for the fancy guests that would come over. Yeah, it is. And it would nice. be sitting right there. It's nice. It's very nice. I don't like, it needs to be a lot. It was $80. No, maybe it was $100. We got this at Justin's House of Bourbon. Yes, we did. So it was overpriced there, of course. What the fuck is this? What? It smells like ass again. No, no, no more butthole. No, it don't smell like butthole. The last oh, one smelled like Flintstones vitamins, man. This doesn't smell like that. This is, uh, sorry, this McKenna is still, it's bringing me back <laughs> from the butthole bourbon. Pipe says it looks like a giant perfume bottle. It does kind of, <laughs> it does. It looks like your grandma's perfume bottle. There's nobody our age that has a perfume bottle like this. Hey, but... um, before you start talking shit about grandmas, if your daughter were to spit out a baby right now. Shut your dirty hole That mouth. would be you. Shut your dirty whole mouth. You're nine months away. Hush. I'm saying you could your be. Your dirty whole mouth. You could be. Hey. I am not I cannot a wait. grandmother. I'm going to call you Grammy. I'm going to start calling you Grammy when you're a Grammy. I'm not going to call you Grammy. I am not going to be Grammy. I can be like, I don't know. I ain't going to be Grammy. Grammy. Though. You're going to be Grammy. I am not going to be Grammy. Grammy Cordy? I know, but like, I, I guess I'm going to have to pick my, well, well, that's a long way away. Long way away. Shit, Maddie doesn't even want to get out in the real world and pay her own bills yet. Much oh, she's doing parent. okay. No, I'm saying she said, I'm a little too close now to being in the real world. <laughs> All right, this is better, man. This is better. This is better than the asshole we Ooh, had earlier. Oh, wow. Uh, Gavin, oh, wait, I know who the, I know who you were, bro. I recognize you from your picture. He says, you guys are awesome. This is really good. Appreciate you being here, bro. We're just, <coughs> we're just a long time married couple having fun. Courtney loves having... Hey, you know something I noticed? Mm. You need to keep your fucking mouth on your own bottle because this had lipstick on it and it's supposed to be my bottle. I don't wear lipstick. So can you keep your lipstick to yourself? You don't see... I'm not going to comment. I'm just going to leave it right there. <coughs> What's going on? <coughs> <laughs> what are you choking on? <coughs> what are you choking on? Oh, my lipstick. <coughs> <laughs> You're such a dick. Douche. This Jesus. is better. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> um, so... This, I will put right here. Why are we putting that there because on the Because this is my all-time favorite easy drinker. Wait, no, no, no. That's not your all-time number one bourbon. No, no, no. Easy drinker. Can find it anywhere. Get lit fast. <laughs> Get lit fast on some oh, bourbon. Okay. That one or the Old Forester um, 1920. Yeah. Those two. 1920 will. Be prepared before you go in hard on that. Yeah, that's like a... Yes. It's like a space. I do rocket. need to say to CJ, CJ, I was expecting to see you today because I had a delivery. A delivery. And I was expecting to see you, and I was disappointed it wasn't you. So, have good. hopefully we'll see you soon in uh, Orange Beach. CJ, you disappointed Courtney. Most guys who do that don't live to tell the tale. <laughs> Oh. Look at me. I'm still here 32 years later. He's hanging on by um, a thread. I think it's almost time for C -c 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 Courtney's Corner. <laughs> Sponsored by <laughs> Courtney. Toys R Us. <laughs> Sponsored by Thornberries. <laughs> Thons <laughs> what else can be? What other defunct Daw companies? Hairs. <laughs> Daw hairs. These are all defunct Louisville companies. A&P. <laughs> uh, what was the name of that message? Zayers. Zayers, uh, wait, wait, wait. Zantorios or what was uh, it? Zantigos. Zantigos. Yes. In Holiday Manor, <laughs> Zantigo. Working man's gas. Working man's gas. <laughs> that was one of my favorite stories you told me when we were really young. You, I used to go over here to Working Man's Friend. And, I know. That was back, okay, so I didn't understand it because back in the day, they actually came out and they would not let me put my gas. And it was still 98 cents a gallon and he came over and he cleaned my windshield and he would pump the gas in my little bitty Honda Civic hatchback. 1985 Honda Civic hatchback. It was yeah. so cute and so fun. All right, Call Me Biscuit, who's a legend, says, what are the three worst bourbons you've experienced on the bourbon blend? Okay, butthole bourbon. That is really bad. That's really bad. Um, this bullshit we had right over here, the Kentucky gentleman was absolute butthole. Okay, Jay and I disagree, but this is butthole. 
No, it's, Jay it's not says, good. This is awful. It's not good. It's awful. But it's not the worst we've had. It's um, awful. This Kentucky gentleman. This looks is, like a catheter oh, bag. Oh, 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 um, it's urine. Rounds Creek is trash. Rounds Creek is trash. And G Kentucky Gentleman's really bad, too. Um, what else is really bad? Oh, the other stuff we have up here. We probably don't have the bad stuff on display. No. Oh. We're not going to put the bad stuff on display, but... Um, but yes. So those are those are some good ones. And I think your dad used to just drink that Kentucky Gentleman every day. Like, That's because he's... If you've been drinking bourbon for 60 or 70 years, you've burned all your taste buds. So it just goes with it. <laughs> Holy shit, we have this Woodford Reserve from Soho Social. I have this up here as uh -oh. well. I well know, let me I try this. Make sure what's... What Soho like. Social is owned by two uh, yes, bunker, bunker members. Yes, bunker members, and Auburn we need guys, to... and who are absolute studs, by the way. Well, one of them's new guess who this, and uh, the other guy doesn't need to post go. as much, but uh, we love him. This is not one of the okay. worst, by the way. No, 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 this is not one of I the worst. I just happened to see it on the bottom, and I didn't even know. Uh, CJ wants to know. Well, first of all, let me, let me back up. Melee says mellow corn is not bourbon. Oh, it can't be right. It is straight it, corn whiskey. Yeah, if it's 100% corn, it can't be bourbon. It's Right? I don't know. It's butthole. But it is bottled and bond. It is bottled and bond, but it's... Well, I'm not drinking it for this bottle and bond show. If you would like to, you're welcome to, but I am not drinking it. Let's see. Mike B says, do you guys see Rebel Small Batch Reserve by you? Rebel Reserve. Rebel Small Batch Reserve. Uh, we have a Rebel... We have a Rebel, but... Uh, a camera would I don't think, I think it's small it's batch. Tenure, reserve, right? It's just ten year. No, the Rebel Ten Year we got at the distillery, Luxro Distillery. Oh, okay. And I cashed it out. Um I no, we have a we have a thing called Rebels uh Distillers Distiller Select. I don't know if it's gonna stay, Mike. It, I don't know. Alabama has some weird shit going on. Uh, Call Me Biscuit says, Who would have guessed Mellow Corn is awful? It, it's not that bad. It's not good. I think it's not it's good. Cool. But it's not one of the three worst I've had on it. Okay, here. so I am drinking this uh, Woodford Reserve. Soho Social Store Social, Pick. Yes. Did you pour me some? No, I did not. Would you like some? No, I'm Gucci. I would love to pour you some. You're busy drinking the other I.W. Harper. So. It's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I need another taste before I can give a review. Of the Soho Social? You better chill out on your drink. Okay, maybe. so. Why? You gotta go work in the morning. Your boss is gonna be pissed off. Oh, well, I just have to cook for the children. Oh wait, to be in a Curtis classroom. The boss. Yeah. So, what I would say about this is, Ooh, I, like I don't see on. anything different between that and regular Woodford Reserve. Really? Okay. And Woodford Reserve is fine. Oh, look at this. Justin says the new Rebel is coming. Uh. En route. Okay. Hey now, and Coleman Biscuit says bottled in butthole. <laughs> That would be <laughs> the mellow that corn. Would be, that would be a worker's comp claim from the bourbon blend. <laughs> Look at this. So Justin has the scoop on that shit. How about that, man? Okay, Justin. Uh, and by the way, I was wrong. Maybe you Mike can hook B us says, up. Uh, Distiller Select and what Mike B was talking about is not the same. If you see that one, it is a buy every okay. day. Uh, Mike says mellow corn is a bourbon, not according to the... Let, uh, me, let, me, let me get the old lady spectacles out and see what the Not according to the bottle. Straight corn whiskey. I don't see that. It does well, not say bourbon. It says straight corn whiskey. Well, straight means that it's at least two years old, I think. Uh, no, it's bottled in bond, so it has to be four years. No, I'm saying just to be called straight whiskey, just to be called straight, it has to be two years. I don't know so what bottled that bond is. bottled in bond means it's four years. I don't know what it is, but it's butthole. That's another Heaven Hill. We should have tried that because it's fucking Heaven no, Hill. No, you're welcome. Have at it, buddy. All right, fine. I'll do it. Have at it. Not me. Uh, CJ, I'm coming back to you, bro. Courtney did it. It was Courtney's fault. Uh, wants to know. What is I don't know yet. That that will be a game time decision. Oh. Here, I'll move this over here. Um, hopefully, there's nothing on the bottom here that's going to be a problem. Um, our friend Justin sent over a pick. Oh, he's just doing that. Okay, I got you. I was just going to cut this. Real Rebel quick. Small Batch Reserve. Ooh. Okay, I need right. to taste that. So here's what Mike was talking about. Um, I resized this, Justin. Thank you for sending this along, bro. This is, <laughs> there's me. This is what Mike <laughs> was talking about, the Rebel Small Batch Reserve. And he says this is a buy all day, every day. And if Mike says so, I'm on board. I would definitely drink that, I think. 
Um, I'm going to answer CJ's question, CJ. It's going to be a game time decision prior to us leaving and going to Orange Beach. It is not a plan ahead event. So we will bring whatever surprises bring. and whatever I decide. Well, last year I think we bought Friday some shit morning. at the ABC that was like right there in um, Orange Beach or whatever. We Remember we went down there and that was where the guy and the girl, the girl was trying to buy something with a fake ID and then the oh, dude, yeah, the he boyfriend, was. like... No, basically, the girl was was Something. probably 20 years old, and her boyfriend, I don't know what he was, and looked more like her dad, um, was with her, but he didn't have his ID, and he said, this is bullshit, I'm out of here. He threw a fit. And then it was like, and okay, like, they're like, all the right, like, <laughs> you're not upsetting us, please Mom move says, along. Mom love your bar set up, thank you. Thank you. This is the one we have this at my is, mom's my mom's house. No, this is courtesy of... Somebody had a vision, and we made it come together. It was 100% you, yeah. You get, okay. you get full credit on that, of course. Um, <laughs> Jay said it wouldn't work, but that's okay. Anyway, moving right along. Wait. In the beginning, I said it wouldn't work, but we got a lot of equipment here. No, we're Gucci. Uh, thank you, Norman. I appreciate you being here with us. Um, Sausage Broker, a.k.a. Gavin, says, Thursday night in Atlanta should be great. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Um, yes. Yeah. Looking forward to that. So we will not have a bourbon blend next Thursday night because we will be having a bourbon event in Atlanta um, with um, folks who have already paid and saved their spot at um, hey, at the event space. Guys, it's in a northern Atlanta suburb yes. because people get so upset. It's in Buckhead. <laughs> no, remember Will Collier it's said it's Buckhead. not in Buckhead, but it's it, is in Buckhead. it is actually in Buckhead. It is actually if in Buckhead. If the restaurant tour says it is in Buckhead, it is in Buckhead. Did you know that the word restaurant tour, restro tour does not have an NT in it? So I don't a, care. <laughs> anyway, that's what I named it. If it is the lovely gentleman I spoke with on the phone. Do you know he's a gentleman? He sounded like a gentleman. Ravin says there's an ABC Select Store in OBA. We were there. Yeah. That's where the girl yes. got kicked out for having a fake ID. Yes. And uh, he wants to do a live blend. Raven thinks we got to do a live blend next Thursday. I can't do that there. No, we don't know. See, the problem is there's a lot of other factors coming in. Like, we don't really, we don't know everybody that's showing up. So, we have to. And so, uh, Gavin says this is uh, this bar is on point. This is, again, this is just part of our collection. Our, most of our good stuff is actually at, the ho at our house. Yeah. And it's funny because Jay will go, I swear we had this. And I'm like, it's at the other place. It's at your mom's house. <laughs> like, Fuck, that's right. We got like whatever. It's your 20, mom's house. 20 or 30 uh, bottles here. Including a uh, um, birthday bourbon over there. Yes. That's not even an eye shot. No, it is over here. It's, it's over, over my shoulder. It's right is here. Is it right? Where is it? Ow, God damn it! Good. I'm glad I heard is you. Is there a man I can talk right to? Right here. Wait, right, right down It's here. over here. <laughs> it's over my shoulder. It's over there. Ow, don't bite me. Um, uh, is it time for Courtney's Corner? Oh, uh, wait, wait. Can you... C -c 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 Courtney's Corner. I think you said that like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Presented by Lazarus. Presented by... Wait, Lazarus. Let's see. Gafers. Gafers? Presented uh, by... Saturn Motor Cars? Where's some... Uh, wait. Oldsmobile? <laughs> What's some places in... Uh, some old ones in Montgomery? Uh, presented by Montgomery Mall. <laughs> yeah, right. Montgomery Mall. The where Ed you can do all your shopping. The Eddie Bauer in Montgomery Mall. Presented to you by the food court at Montgomery Mall. <laughs> You're the people's court, Courtney. All right, here we go. Ready for Courtney's uh, corner? <laughs> yes, Courtney's corner. Are y'all ready? Courtney's ready corner is always some kind yes. of cheesy. And it makes Jay crowdsourcing questions. He's really upset about this, but you ready? We all participate. There it is. Oh, why'd you show that picture? Oh God, it makes me squirm. <laughs> Clarice. Clarice. Can I lick your? Balls? No, no, no. He's. That's when he says. Um, are the lambs still? Are the lambs still screaming? Are the scream? Are the has the screaming? What does he say? I don't remember. <sighs> Mind the drawings, please. Oh, flea market Montgomery. Can you do that one? That's who we're presented by. Oh yes. <laughs> it's just like it's, it's just, just like, like a, a mini, mini mart. <laughs> mall, mini mall. Mini mall. I'm sorry. He goes. Okay. Here we go. All right, best scary movies. You best scary I movies. I noticed in your notes you changed it from horror it movies It was horror to movies scary because movies. that is definitely a definition, and, and my daughter enlightened me to that because I always think of horror movies as anything scary, but horror movies to the younger generation is like blood and gore and and uh, what's that one where they chop off all the body parts? Uh, Saw? Saw. Well, yeah, Saw. That And that never scared me because I'm like, I'm not going to get myself into that situation. 
So some of these other things I could see myself possibly getting into the situation. And so it scared the crap out of me. Blake says, I can smell your guns. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and, didn't he end up dying by choking on his tongue or something like that? Like, because Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> like, Don't mind him. Oh, God. All right, so Courtney says seven is the number one. Listen, I want to be honest. So you came up with your list first. Yes. I didn't want to put all the same ones on right. mine. So, but seven is really good. Mm -hmm. And I was not ready for that ending. No, Courtney who Alexander. is ready for what's in the box? You're spoiling it, god dang it. Come on now. No, but you're not, he, that's not spoiling it. It's like, a great line. What's in the box? <laughs> he says, John Doe has the upper hand. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Uh, so seven. That is so good. Like, I still watch that and I love it. I know what's going to happen in it. And I love that movie. If you haven't seen it, you really need to you see that You have to see that movie. Although it's it's a dark, wet movie. Like it's, They're in Seattle or somewhere. Yeah, and it's, and it's always, always dark and it's always gloomy. It's a downer of a it's, movie. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a really good movie All if right, you've not seen Aliens, it. Aliens, I saw the movie theater. New comments, Turflin, click new comments. Oh, we got to click new comments, Courtney. Thank you. I saw um, Aliens in Turf, uh, Turfland Mall in uh -huh. Lexington. Terrified the piss out of me. So not 86. alien, but alien. Right, the second one. The second one was scarier the one than the first the, one. Where they were on the, the radar. Yes. Holy oh my shit. god! You're like they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Yeah, that was that was. Uh, Silence of the Lambs from 1991, uh, best picture. We watched it recently with Maddie, who was really underwhelmed, and I don't know how. Because I kept talking about how it was amazing. It's my favorite movie. This is awesome, and she's used to more of the. Blood and like gore. Like super fast. Yeah, and it's popping. it's more of a, a thriller, a thriller instead of a um, um, heredi horror movie. Hereditary we saw maybe a year ago, six months ago, and it yes. was. I almost noped out of that one. I was like, "This is fucking bullshit. Oh I'm out of here." At the end of that movie, I was really, I was about ready to bounce. Uh, oh. The Exorcist. The Exorcist. When I met you, you were you loved. You thought The Exorcist was great. Oh my god, the spinning head, the throwing up pea soup, like. Mm. That was scary as hell. The Shining. The Shining has a little romantic value for it. It does have some romantic value, but you, when I first met you, you used to do Red Rum. Red Rum. Red Rum. Red Rum. Red Rum. On our. Uh, no, so the, we have to tell the story about The Shining. So. That's what I was about to tell you. Oh, okay. You so, can tell it. Thanks. Is there a man I could talk to? <laughs> we got married in 1997, and of course, everybody who has gotten married and has a big wedding knows that when you, you're at the wedding, you never get to eat, you never get to do anything. So you're just being social and, and doing what you have to do. So after the wedding, we had the boxes of food that were packed up we were at for our, us. We were at the hotel afterwards. We got back to the hotel, and we sat, like, basically in, like, shorts and T-shirts, sitting um, crisscross applesauce, as we call it, and on the floor at the hotel room, and The Shining was on TV, and we're sitting there eating beef tenderloin, jumbo shrimp and cocktail sauce, and wedding cake, <laughs> watching The Shining. And then we would hit the skins... Stop. And then we would eat, and then we'd hit the skins, and we'd eat, and then we'd I was not sharing you, that part. You cut me off for, like, literally days before that. Yeah, well, days. It was a while. <laughs> was a while. I, I, you had to have a month off. Red rum. <laughs> that's what Blake says. Red rum. Yes. Red rum. So that's, again, a thriller. So all these are more thriller instead of, I guess, the... Um, it's like, like Saw. Or the, the Saw, the, the horror movie. Uh, for me, Silence of the Lambs is the goat. I really... Hannibal Lecter is just... Amazing. Hannibal wasn't as good. Uh, but... Poltergeist got me really good Ooh. in 83 or 82 when it came out because it looked like the neighborhood I grew up in San Diego. Oh, I can that see that. That was in Southern California. The houses looked like where I was. The girl I felt like was my age. Like at the time, I was fucking wigged out, man. Uh, the Shining I liked. I read the book first, believe it or not. It's like the only time I'd ever say it in my life. Uh, Talk to Me, which we saw like in the last year. Oh, yeah, that was pretty That good. was the one where you go to the upside down area and the, yeah. the girl was, I don't, yeah, yeah, that was a good thriller. More of a psychological one. Uh, the Twilight Zone movie, which came out in 82 or 83. Um, this is super underrated. That was the one that had four movies in it, remember? It was the, uh, the first one was they went to the Holocaust thing. The second one was uh, the, the woman took the boy home and she got stuck in their house and... The the boy the mom didn't have a mouth and shit. Oh. The third one was Scatman Crothers at the yeah, old folks home. I mean, none of that ever did it for me. The fourth one was the me. scary guy on the airline. See, engine. I don't like short story stuff. Like, oh I have my to get god, it was so good. Thing. And that's why when we go on the uh, the ride at um, uh, you talking about the the, the, and, uh, the, the, the Hollywood what's the elevator? It called? Uh, no, they call it. Uh, 
It's not elevator, is it? What's it called? It's called, um, what's the park called? The Disney MGM Park. Studios. No, it's not MGM Universal Studios. Universal Studios. It's not Universal Studios. It's, um, what is the Disney Park called? It's called Universal, uh, it's called MGM Studios. No, That's MGM Studios called. is back in the day. Anyway, when you go on the ride there, the, um, y'all know it. Uh, it has a Twilight Zone theme to it. Tower of Terror. Tower, Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror, yes. They have the little Twilight Zone thing. and That stuff's never scared me. Let's see. We have a, a couple other choices. I would um, like to go back. Okay, let's scroll some of this. So Halloween. Okay, Halloween never scared me because those are some dumb bitches out in fucking camping. Okay, paranormal activity fucked me up the first time I saw it. So yeah, that's fair, man. That, that's, um, the that one on you the didn't list. put another one of mine on there. You had, the like, one you had like eight. I, don't I know the room. one that scared the hell out of me. And this was in 99, was it? Oh, a Blair Witch? Blair Witch Project scared the shit out of me. It had a, it had a good me. ending. had a good ending. had a really good ending. It was really good. I it, mean, it, just it, it was the right whole, the that was the first time there was ever a movie that I had seen where it was like first person. It was lost footage. It was like, yeah. oh, you know, and this camera's yeah. scattering around because you're scared. That movie scared the crap out of me because I could see myself doing that. Halloween... Those are some dumb yeah. bitches out there camping, and then they go back. They're like, "Oh, where's my friend?" And they go back. Hold on, Halloween was one. That was in a, that was in a neighborhood, I think. Friday Thirteenth was definitely at a camp, though. Okay, for, I get them mixed up. And Nightmare on Elm Street, you had that in your. I list. did have that on my list. Yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street, I had on my list just because of the whole "Don't fall asleep." <laughs> the "Don't fall asleep" part was the part that scared me. Yeah, the, uh, the star of that movie, Heather Langenkamp, is a graduate of Holland Hall, where I went to school. So. How about it was a big that? deal at the time. Uh, there were also uh, some other ones. Call Me Biscuit. This is one of my all-time. <laughs> no, this is one of my all-time favorite films ever. But I don't necessarily know it's a. It is a scary oh. movie, but No Country for Old Men. I would not is, consider that scary. But Anton Chigurh is a terrifying. He is individual. a terrifying character. He just goes. Yep. And you're gone, bro. Yeah, That's he uses it. that. Um, yeah, it's like that a that gun from the livestock gun. Yeah, livestock gun. Yeah. Uh, Corey says the hills have eyes mess me up. I think we watched it a while ago. I don't know ago. that I've seen that. No, I think we have. It was a long time ago. See, we now. need to make a list now of some things we need to watch. TJ <laughs> says if it was me, American Psycho, which is a good one. Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, that kind of deal. Word, word, word. There's different ways. Uh, let's see. Mike <laughs> B says, you drinking that bar barrel butthole bottle when watching these? I will tell you this. Probably should. The one thing I can say is that we will drink more of the, the butthole bottle because we invest a lot of money in it, and so we have to. The Tower of Terror. That's exactly yes. what it was. Yes. Hollywood Studios. Thank you. I called it MGM Studios. I know. Close. That's what I it know. was in the beginning. Uh, Tower of Terror. Was... I like uh, Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster better, which is right next to Tower of Terror. I don't think it's called that anymore. I think they did something with but, it. But uh, the Tower of Terror is fun, too. CJ, thank you for getting us right, bro. Uh, Justin said Epcot. That is not right. Um, <laughs> Corey says Paranormal Activity 1 through 36 was scary I had a crush on the uh, actress in the first one She was pretty cute uh, Let's see Sausage Broker uh, A.K.A. Gavin 08 Says the changeling scared the shit out of me I saw that on the list today Wait was... a minute Is that um, is that the one where somebody's in the well? No, that's something different I don't think I've seen that Wow, look at this Blake says Maximum Overdrive I, that's the one where uh, it was like the crazy trucks going at each other. It's a oh. Stephen King uh, offshoot, I oh, think. Oh, yes, it yeah. was. I used to love Stephen King. I used to read everything Stephen King had. I loved it. I also, when Jay and I met, had a thing about serial killers. <laughs> yeah, you, had, you were reading Anne Rice. I had serial... I, when we met, I don't know why Jay stayed with me, because I like serial killers and visiting cemeteries. <laughs> I like visiting cemeteries, too. Uh, Justin says the original It, which you had Pennywise going at it. The original It? Like, as in the one that just came out? No, nah, just like the first one, where he's, like, hiding in the fucking sewers going... <laughs> I know, but like the original, was there he one said, before that? He said, give me your boobies. No. Oh. So, well, that's a Stephen King thing, too. About getting boobies? No. It, 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 it Pennywise. Uh, I, see, I don't think him him that scary. Corey, I don't I'm know. with you on this. He says, anyone seen the new Roadhouse? Remaking <laughs> Dalton should be considered a horror film. Why did yes. that need to be remade? Well, there's so many things that have, Wasn't are being the first remade one good that you're just like, why? Why the first, are we doing why, this? Why? 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 That's my favorite. Oh, uh, wait. No, no, no. Uh, 
It's Why? not Tanya Harding. Nancy Kerrigan. Nancy Kerrigan. Yes. Anybody Why? that's old enough knows. Why? 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 <laughs> I mean, she got hosed on that deal, but whatever. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Hold on. Oh, well, we got a lot of shit popped in there at once. CJ said, Stephen King is my favorite author of all time. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's a good one to have, bro. He's he's good. He's an interesting one I on Twitter, read too. one. I should go back and read a Stephen King book. I normally read, like, Chicklet now because it's, there's no, I know Jay has no interest in that, of course. I'd like to meet uh, Jennifer. He doesn't, he has no interest in reading a book at all, so. Hey, hold on. One thing I want to say real quick. Yes. I have a friend of mine. I'm not sure I can say who it is. Okay. I don't know if she wants, if she wants it known. But I have a friend of mine who used, a friend of mine who's a sports writer, okay? Mm -hmm. I knew that in the past, okay? Mm -hmm. Who is now a Chicklet writer. Is yes. it Chicklet? It's like romance novels? No, well, no, it's a romance writer. Is That's it for different. young? We decided, oh, is this for it's young It's young people? adults. Young adult romance writer. She's like approximately, well, she's a little younger than me, but... I mean, that's awesome. She's probably 45, and she goes by a pseudonym, so she so doesn't here's write the thing. his own name. She knew newspapers were dying, yeah. and she's like, I need to find something else, and so she found this venue, and it's working for her. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. Good for her. I want to go to like one of her signings and be like, can you sign my book, please? I think it's really cool that she's like doing young young adult fiction or whatever. It's cool. Jacob G in the house is Jay. Hey, Jacob. What up, Jacob G? He always shows up late. I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just saying, like, you, you buoy us late in the show. So I appreciate that, bro. Uh, let's see. A Stephen King book, Courtney. Oh, tell me your favorite oh. Stephen King book. Um, Probably Misery. Oh, Misery is really good. I, and that was turned into a movie, and that was pretty scary. I'll tell you what, uh, oh God, what's her name? Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates. That bitch can act. She was scary in that. She put them handcuffs on him and he would just, mm, mm, mm. Misery is really I, good. Now, also, Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery is really good. Not a good movie. Good book. Mm. Can you imagine how much money he is worth? How many movies have been made <sighs> about, from his books? He's and his it. books? And He's he got to be worth I think he lives a relatively Spartan existence up in Maine. Honestly. You don't want to talk about his political views because they're very, very far one direction. I, I don't want to talk about him. You might want to talk about him. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, CJ says his dad's favorite is Neil Stevenson, who I don't know who the fuck that is. Does he pitch for the Reds? It might be Robert Stevenson. I don't know. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, wow. Justin, I can't. You ain't done nothing wrong, though. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So so our friend went today and uh, did a barrel pick at Uncle Nearest. Was it today? Yes, which I'm not familiar, very familiar with, but... Uh, um, CJ agreed. Misery is my favorite. Misery is a great book. I thought the movie was just so-so, but Courtney the says book the book is was really, really good. good. And I, since I don't read books, then I just have to take your word for it. The last book I read was a Steve Jobs book by Walter Isaacson, which came out in 2011, I think. And I only read that because I love Wozniak, and I wanted to hear what I wanted to see what he wrote about it. Uh, <laughs> Ravin says, "There's a terrifying movie called Fourth and Thirty One. You won't believe it." Wait, it was just released. Starring. <laughs> it was just released. Ron Roberts. <laughs> Fuck it, guys! Get all the way in the end zone. <laughs> 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 Chris Newen Schwander. Hey, we know him. Although hey, some Chris. people, Johnny would call him Chris Newen Schwander, <laughs> no H, said Woodford Double Oaked uh, is. Not. A... So we got the Woodford pick here. I do have a Double Oaked. Chris, Oak I will say that um, I like Woodford. It's a good steady Eddie for me. It's a good steady Eddie. I don't see a huge difference in it. There's a Double Oaked. I don't like Double Oaked. I don't like the uh, more earthy tones. I need a little sweeter. So, therefore, Jay, do you want to taste that again? I will. I mean, I'm like? still slugging on some This of is shit. the little bitty baby bottle. I think it's so cute. <laughs> the bottle's so cute. So, I'm, I'm going not a from fan. a. Uh... No, I had Miller Corn in here last. Anybody else have any views on Woodford? I love Woodford for two things. First of all, you're always going to have a Woodford at Churchill Downs because they are the official bourbon of the Kentucky Derby and Churchill Downs. So, I will always have that in. A couple of cocktails there. But I'm just, overall, I'm not the hugest Woodford fan to drink it neat. It's, it's, it's plenty average to me. Yeah. I don't get, I don't get anything amazing from it. I think about, 
airline bottles when I think of Woodford. Yes. Woodford Reserve is amazing on an airplane. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the little plastic bottles, they're, they're perfect. Especially when you're going out of the country <sighs> and you want to do a, um, what do you, you guys jump up and oh, yeah. I do the little chest bump on the airplane. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is kind of, it does taste a little earthy, Cordy. I didn't realize that. This is the well, double the double oak. oak stuff is just it's a it's little a, it's too. It's just too oaky. Yeah. It's fucking double oak though. By the way, I'm married to this. For those of you who weren't on the show in the beginning, our man Pipe, who was in the chat, may still be in the chat, is a Purdue fan, and I pledged my fidelity after Auburn got knocked out and Trancy got knocked out of the Final Four. I pledged my fidelity to Purdue, so I'm wearing that, and that's why yes. I am actually married to a Transylvania University graduate, that which is I true. am one myself. So we're Gucci, but uh, since uh, Pipe is. One of my favorite people, I'll just say that I'm uh, married to this. Uh, I don't know of anywhere to hunt in or near Florence AL. Does anybody in our chat know? Oh, wait. We had this discussion before. Where to look um, uh, for bottles? We had somebody from Madison who told him where he needed to go. Um, I just can't remember what it was. I'm so sorry. Uh, Justin says the Baccarat is amazing. The Baccarat, I thought, was just in a Baccarat bottle. However, it is finished in Exo Cognac casks, so... Uh, the believe is, the belief, excuse me, is that it has a little extra something something on it. Now, what is it worth? Twenty five hundred dollars to give it a shot, or two thousand, or whatever? Um, Probably not. It's a beautiful bottle. I mean, Baccarat Crystal is it's it's something to be had. We have we have one piece of Baccarat Crystal. It's about this big. Do we? I didn't know we had one. <laughs> yes, we do. I we did have not a, know that. we have a vase. Because when it's Baccarat, it's definitely a vase. It's not a vase. <laughs> At uh, that bar that we go to in Rosemary Beach. You know, Galleons is what Galleons. it's called. Galleons. They have a uh, Woodford Baccarat. They have a Woodford Baccarat. They had the uh, Elmer, uh, not Elmer. Um, they had Elmer Tilly. No, yeah, they had Elmer Tilly. But they had what Daniel it, Weller. Daniel Weller. There wasn't no remember. way I was going to pay for that. Uh-uh. But no. uh, the Baccarat uh, Woodford, I think, was two fifty a pour. No, 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 no. Was it more it than that? It wasn't that much. Oh, I think it was. It was, it the, it was the most much. expensive thing on there, and I was like, this mm -hmm. is crazy, man. I'm not paying that. I mean, I know that we have a huge following and everything, and our all of our sponsors could definitely um, afford us at the Bourbon Blend for us to taste that. Uh, Chris wants to know, <laughs> Bracket Buster at ABC, that is going to happen on Saturday yeah. at uh, East Chase. Um, there's a fair amount of shit that's going to be there. I was looking mm -hmm. at the Old Forester store picks, the uh, 100 proof and the 128 proof. If I go there at 10 or 11 o'clock and those fuckers are still there, I'm buying one. If not, whatever. I would say that... Um, Raven says, try a place called Doozies up in Florence, Alabama, is what he was... Oh. You know, we always have somebody that knows. Of course Raven knows. I will say, if I'm going to go to the store and I have a choice between Woodford Reserve and Old Forester, I will always choose Old Forester. That's just my pick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the trick is when you start, it gets a little harder when you go into, okay, am I going to take a uh, barrel? Am I going to try Bardstown Bourbon Company? You know what I mean? Yeah. Bardstown Bourbon Company is just, I think we have to have a little love for them because we went there like right when they opened. We've been there probably three or four times. It's just a really neat experience and we enjoy going there. And you never know what you're going to get when you go in there that day in the gift shop, gift shop. <laughs> Gift shop, gift shop. This uh -huh. is signed, by the way, by some fucker. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> uh, mm. But yes, that that is. If you ever go on the Bourbon Trail, you have to go to Bardstown Bourbon. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's they have a great restaurant there. It's definitely. They new have money. a wonderful bar with great cocktails. So even the people that it's do not money. like bourbon will enjoy the cocktails at the with that are made with bourbon at Bardstown Bourbon. So this is the Bardstown uh, dis dis distillery collection. This is triple stay finish. This is a tough one to find. I don't know you'll ever find that outside of the distillery. We picked this up when we were at the distillery, not this last time, but for my birthday, 50th birthday. We don't drink this very often. But, uh, Ooh. I thought it was pretty good when I drank it. I love, the nose is amazing. Unfucking believable The nose is amazing. And, and now this one, now what's the proof on that? I need to know what the proof is. That's gotta be in the 110s, one, oh, maybe 120. That's going to be 110 at least. 109. So you're, oh! You're your girl kind of knows what she's talking about. Your girl knows what she's talking about. I wish I could make this uh, turn into a full bottle. This is uh, Bardstown oh. Discovery Series 2. That's all I've got left, guys. 
When we do when we do show thirty, you're gonna drink that. This is no, I'm not finishing this bitch. You have to finish it because here's the thing. There's a hundred dollars a shot at uh, the the distillery. I didn't taste it, man. I haven't tasted it in a while. It happens. Um, <laughs> yes, Canuman. It screams private equity money. 100%. I wonder why. <laughs> because, because it's exactly what it is, bro. Because the owner is from Miami. <laughs> I think and, he made his money in High Lie or something yeah. like that. <laughs> yes, it is a beautiful facility. Um, if, you oh. can, if you can only do one tour there, you need one. to do the Honey Hole tour. And they go out and they they thieve it right in front of you and you taste it straight from the barrel. It is, oh, it is amazing. It is really yeah, good. that's really good. That's really good. It's a lot of fun. And then you finish in their amazing little lounge area, their finish? bar lounge. You finish the tour oh, in the, the bar tour. lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I was going to try to find a picture of that um, bar at... No, with his, no, this is not even close to where I was trying to go. Why did it go to 2013? I don't know. Uh, the bar at Barstown Bourbon Company, which my guy was talking about earlier. Yes. I think I had going. a picture Keep of that. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, that says playing jing. <laughs> well, too late now. Too late. Did no, I not get a picture there. of it, Courtney? I have them probably. I was the picture taker on your trip because you were too drunk. Hey, I wasn't that drunk. <laughs> yes, was I? you were. Oh, uh, that's old forest. Yeah. Anyway. Anywho, you can just keep um, talking, Courtney. It's okay. I mean, I'm so um, yes, Bardstown Bourbon Company. You need to go there. It is a um, a great tour. Yeah, it is. Um, it is a great experience. You can spend a lot of time there. You can make reservations at their restaurant. We have not eaten there, but I would really like to have beverage there. Ooh, I would do that too. Yeah. Did I not take any pictures of Bardstown? No. Because you are too lit. God. Oh, I know who that was. Yeah. I do want to show this one picture, which I have not. Oh, yes, this is a great picture. So this is. We um, haven't showed this picture in a while. Let me go over to my photos real quick. Well, we need to get some Maker's Mark. Get some, pull out some Maker's Mark. Honey, drink. that sounds like a huge question. I just found this picture from 2022. This open. is the. When you hear about uh, them having cellar aged at Maker's Mark, this yes. is the cellar. Yes. This is actually into a mountain, or not, it's like a, a hill. hill. They dug into a hill, and they put these barrels in there, and it's chilly as fuck. We were in there uh, May 13th-ish. Yes, and it felt so good, because there was, was 100 like balls outside. it was 50 degrees in here, or 45 <laughs> degrees, and it, this is where they barrel age this stuff. Um, yeah, so there's all your barrels of the cellar aged. That was waiting to be uh, opened for the cellar aged bourbon, which is now really expensive, by the way, but anyway... Okay, so Call Me Biscuit has a question. Oh, he sure does. He says, Bourbon Blend favorite three distilleries, Bardstown, Will, what else? Let's okay, see. wait, don't say it. I have my answer. I don't know if you do. Wait, was, does he mean like tours or does he mean like the actual production? So if I was to go to Kentucky and I was to say, these are three places you need to hit if you have, okay. it, it does not have to be physically like close to each other. But if you have the opportunity in Kentucky, wow, I would say one. Bardstown, Willett, and Old Forster. Oh, that was not where I was where going. Where are you going to go? I'd say Evan Williams. Uh, but Old well, Forster, the Evan Williams experience is good. I'm on board with Old Forster. Old yeah. Forster, though, the thing is, is that if you get on one of their like little tours that's a little more pricey, or if you go on one of their tours and you have a great storyline... As this guy did on his 50th birthday. You can end up with one of these. You can end up with one of these things that they call. They call over the radio and they're like, we need 12 candles. <laughs> and uh, yes, we ended up with birthday bourbon for retail at Old Forester when we went there. So I think it's 159 The thing that's really cool about Old Forester, if you go to that, that's in downtown Louisville, the distiller. They the well, the local distillery is down there. Yeah. It's the old school distillery. Um, and that is down there. And you get to go in there. And they still have the barrels. And you can actually hit the little button that makes the fire in the, bar in the no, barrel. No, I did it. Yeah, I, I know. Did. It was your birthday. So you got to do that. I did it, yeah. <coughs> uh, Kanuma says honorable mention for Castle and Key. So okay, Castle and Key is without a doubt the prettiest, prettiest. Campus, campus. It is beautiful. Unbelievable. Just and we went on a beautiful, sunny day. And that's when our daughter goes, this would be a great place to get married. And I'm like, oh, girl, who's paying?
paying for this wedding because it ain't I, us. <laughs> I'm telling you, strolling across the campus of Castle and Key was like the perfect day for me. It was, it like was gorgeous. Sunny and like 72. The they had a nice little, little bar bit. and you went in, you got your little drink yes. and you sat outside by the little fountain. That, well, not the fountain, the, the creek water that comes in. It's in the key shape, the keyhole shape. It is a beautiful place in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Gavin 08 says, have you guys done a Kentucky Derby? Uh, we have separately, I think. No, I have. I grew up in Kentucky. I lived in Kentucky for 24 years. Never, And I grew up in Louisville, and I never went to a Kentucky Derby. This guy went to a Derby. I don't ever want to go to a Derby, and I'll tell you why. Because it is so crowded. You have all these crazy yeah. out-of-towners. You have these drunk people that are throwing up on your nice shoes. Like, just don't go that day. Don't go that week. You can go the next week. So, like, this year, we're actually going to be in Kentucky uh, the week after Derby, as we have been the last two years. And we're going to go to Churchill Downs that day, and you can walk around anywhere. You can yeah. walk up right on the horses being literally five feet from you. You can stand right on the finish line and watch the horses run by you. To me, that is a much better experience than the Derby. I would agree, yeah. I went to the That's Derby. Just me. I went to the Derby '91, struck the gold one. I was in the infield. I was against the fence. Uh, we snuck in a lot of vodka in plastic bags, uh, in uh, Ziploc bags at the bottom of our cooler. So all they did was look in. All they had, we had a uh, fruit on the top, and they just kind of sifted through the fruit real easy, and then it was on the bottom, taped down. We they, we got in. Mm -hmm. We got fucked up, and then um, we ended up getting some uh, joints off uh, some girls that happened to be from Berea College, which is really funny if you think about it. And then we were smoking fatties in the infield, and the cops, we John, our friend John, offered it to the cop, and he didn't even like do anything. He goes, "No, nah, man, I can't." This is back in the day, man. Like this they is weren't going to the bust day. you. They weren't going to bust you for smoking <laughs> weed in there or anything. It's basically just lawlessness. But you don't. No one was like trying to. That's like, back in the day, though. No, but nobody was trying to rape anybody. It was just like we were drinking and smoking weed and just hanging out. Like it was all good. Uh, it was. Back in the day. Uh, Justin O, who knows his way around some distilleries, says Old Forester. Which I stand behind. Lux Row, which we enjoy. Lux Row is very nice. Lux Row is really pretty, too. Heaven Hill, which has the new visitor center. Heaven Hill nice. has a beautiful visitor center. And we had a really great tasting experience there yeah, as we well. Yeah, we did. And Buffalo Trace, which has a beautiful campus. and I like Buffalo Trace. I, didn't... I mean, he's probably had a different distillery tour experience than we've had. Yeah, he's probably had the... Um, but, um, yeah. so I, I don't have a problem with any of those choices, honestly. I like all of them. Yes. There's a so, lot of good ones. So I mean, my thing is, similar to how we talk to our child about college, like you need to look at a big one, you need to look at a big one, and then you need a middle one, and then you need to look at a small one, similar to distilleries. Like Willett's very small. Very small. Um, Bardstown Bourbon is brand new and flashy. And then Old Forester is like as old as you can get. <laughs> well, the one downtown is not old. No, I'm it's just saying old, like Old Forester is the one of the oldest brands that you can you can come. Buffalo by. Trace would be the, the Old Forester big place. location is one of the oldest locations though. It's like brand new though. It's fancy now, but the physical location where they took the barrels out and rolled them down the hill to the river to get on the barges to go down to New Orleans and give everybody bourbon. Otag says we need to get a bourbon blend slash bunker group together for a bourbon trail trip. I don't want to say any names, but somebody came up with this idea. I and... love the idea. I think it would be fabulous. And I would put it together. But I will say sometimes it can be a little challenging working with some folks. Hey, they think that your, your oh, mic might have gone dead. Did it die? I know it was a little oh, bit low. Oh, it died. Well, I'm going to be next to Jay. <sighs> No, did it die really? I did yeah. die. Damn, okay. Well, that probably means we gotta go. It's time to go. <laughs> I knew that it was not fully charged, so uh, yeah, that stinks. I see down there that we only got one now, Aww. so. Well, here, just move it over here. Let me see your fuzzy badge. Hey! What kind of, I now, can you hear me on the fuzzy badge? <laughs> We're gonna pass the fuzzy badge back and forth. Jay loves this little fuzzy thing, and I think it's so stupid. Yeah, I like it. It just hides, yes. the, it hides the green light. I love this. Okay, so um, I need to know. Okay, so Leif and Co. Newman love this. So you all will be my support system in uh, oh, making this Colleen happen. still here. says, do it over summer vacation so we can come down. Oh, Colleen. We have to make sure there are no buns in the oven because we got to make sure that we can have beverage. Um... 
Are you talking about yourself? Um, Ravin has a little spicy comment. Maddie, like what is this? Do you hear Ravin and his spicy? He says comments? she is like any wife. You can still hear her, no matter what. Is there a man I can talk to, Ravin? Ravin, I'm gonna see you in just—I mean, like a few short days. <laughs> So be kind. <laughs> Call Me Biscuit says, got batteries again, minus five briquettes, lady. I didn't forget. They're not battery driven. They're, they're, they're rechargeable or whatever. <laughs> I, <wasn't... laughs> I love Call Me Biscuit. That's pretty damn funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, Justin says he's in. Justin would okay. know a lot. He'd have to be like our captain. So this is going to be like next. Is this going to be like 2025? Well, we can work on this. 26? No, we ain't going out that far because. Who knows if I'm going to be alive in 2026? Like, that's hey, a well, long-ass way I'm not away. trying to be like Brian Harson, but do you know something I don't? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck was that? No, Brian Harson. Mm, anyway. All right. Wow. So, I know. I know you're joking, Ravid. That's okay. So, um, Leif, um, Kanuman, and Justin that's will be my uh, go-tos. All right. Since we lost one of our mics, do we need to go ahead and wrap it up, Cordy? Yeah. All right. So the situation is this. We've got the Bunker Bourbon event in the North Atlanta suburbs of Buckhead. Next weekend? Correct. Next week on the Thursday. Thursday night, so we so will not have not a show. Here. We're going to be at the Atlanta thing. We're going to see Gavin there. We're going to see uh, – Cassidy P. was not on the show tonight, but we're going to see him we'll for see sure. Him. Yes. And uh, Jibba Jibba Wabba is going to be there. Um, some other folks. Some other Bunker luminaries will be there as well. I think more people – in here will be there. So we will be back live on um, April 11th prior to our next event in Orange oh, Beach. Oh, that's exciting, man. So we are excited. Um, I cannot wait for the Orange Beach event. We got Raven coming down. We got Hornacious coming down. We got Chip Chip, whose place it is. And I don't want to tell any secrets, but maybe Denton's mom and dad are going to come too. Okay, so... Call Me Biscuit has a little hard play here. <laughs> Do you see that? Uh, he says, Bourbon Blend event, living in the 20 people. <laughs> that won't be a problem. <laughs> what does that even mean, Courtney? Because we don't have more 20 people. <laughs> on the bunker we do, on the blend. <laughs> it's not a blend. We are the bourbon blend. We're not the bunker. We're not the bunker. This is a bourbon blend. Guys, different deal. There you go. All right. Biscuit will be there, though. Okay, so... The Mike says, why not a live from there? I don't know if I have an internet connection there, brother. I'm at a bar, you know? And I got to have, like, think about all the equipment I have here. I got a camera. I got lights. I got computer. I've got mics. I've got Yeah, it's this. not like our cell phones. We got our like, background. Hey, what's up? Yeah, we, we got a pretty good setup yeah. here. So, anyway, I <laughs> uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, are we going to wrap it up there, Courtney? All right, so it's going to be two weeks. It's going to be April 11th, and at which at what point we will be uh, getting ready for the Orange Beach okay. event, too. So, that'll be big. All right, you have anything you want to say at the end here? You Cheers. still you still have all this bourbon to I drink? No, I'm gonna finish it. Holy Watch shit! It. Do you? Sw- Cheers. What have you done? Drink some bourbon. Okay, we'll wrap it up there, guys. See you next week. Appreciate you being part of the blend. Till then, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Do you have something you want to say? Um, uh, deuces. All right, bye. <laughs>